All right, here we go. It looks like things are off to a good start. <laughs> that classic stock sound effect. Ah, the nostalgia. Man, how many years has it been now since I actually Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing? That was back when I didn't really know how to Let's Play, so... It's a while ago. We're going back after all these years, though. We're back to take on Adventure 2 in Diddy Kong Racing. I've never beaten it! I've tried it a little bit, and it's basically Adventure 1, except all the courses are in Mirror Image. And it's also harder. I'm not sure if the actual races are harder, but the Silver Coin Challenges are tougher, because the Silver Coins are in different places. So it's, it's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. There's Banjo! Go hut! Hey, I, I, it hasn't been too long since we've seen our friend Banjo. Ah, high crunch. And of course, everyone's favorite character. Whiz Pig. No, just kidding. It's Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong Racing! Alright, so, we're off to play Adventure 2 today, so, <laughs> we have all ten of the characters now. In my Let's Play, I'm not sure if we actually unlocked Drumstick or TT. Drumstick, there's like a, after you clear the first Whizpig race, there's a frog with a chicken comb on top of his head. If you run him over, then you unlock Drumstick. TT, you have to beat all of the Time Trial Ghosts, which is very, very difficult. TT, I will avoid using unless I absolutely have to, because he's kind of cheating. He's way better than all the other characters. He's, like, the fastest character in the game by far, gets crazy good boosts, and has good turning in Excel. He has no real flaws. I'll also probably try to avoid using Drumstick if I can help it, because... Actually, nah, I can use Drumstick if I want. But, let's be honest, I, I gotta go with my girl, Pipsy. Pipsy be my favorite. Hey, Proximo! Welcome! <laughs> Yeah, the game, yes. This game is very fun, but very hard. I would also say it's the racing game that has probably the best single-player campaign. I love me Mario Kart, but Mario Kart does not really have good single-player. Alright, we're off to Adventure 2. New game C. I'm arty. What's interesting is that the races in Adventure 2 are mirrored, but the overworld is not. I think it would be interesting if they actually mirrored the overworld as well. Also, my skill at the game has improved since I Let's Played this. I've realized that I've been flying the plane completely wrong basically my entire life. So, that should be interesting. I'm still pretty good in the car, I think, though. Hello, Taj. I am the genie of the island. I'm here to help you. Good luck. I appreciate it, man. Pipsy is still my go-to character for any car races, because even though she's the slowest character in the game, her turning is insane. So, there we go. Anyhow. Hello, friends. Give me the plane. Give me the plane. Because we got some balloons to collect in the overworld. Alright, Pipsy, nice. That's off to a great start already. First thing I do is drive into a wall. So right off the bat, I didn't realize for the longest time that if you use R and B, you get like a really tight power sliding turn, which is very nice. So that'll help with the plane races. But also, <laughs> the main thing about the planes that I didn't realize is that when you go over the boosts, release the accelerator button for a long time. If you keep the accelerator button released after going through a boost, you can keep the boost speed for like a really long time. Never really thought about it, because that's not how the other vehicles work, but... Oh, there you go. I thought there was more than two balloons in the overworld, but... 
Well, I mean, there's the other than the one that's on the edges of the Dino Domain. I, I know how to drive, I swear. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get started, shall we? There's a lot of game to go through. Ancient Lake. Let's see if I still got it. First roll of the car, constantly tap the A button. Makes you go way faster. Don't do this in any vehicle other than the car, though. Also didn't realize that the power sliding doesn't really give you better power sliding, it just makes you go faster around turns. And while we're here, if we have a decent lead... Oh, come on, really? Missed the key. We'll have to get that on the lap free. Bananas make you go faster, try to pick up at least 10. Any more than 10 doesn't actually increase your speed anymore, alright. There we go! Oh, yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Granted, I think the tap A button to go faster is actually a glitch that was not intended, but doesn't matter. We did it! We beat the easiest track in the game. I like how the balloons look like disco balls in Adventure 2 as well. It's really fun. <laughs> And we already grabbed the key, so we can do the bonus game. I think I'll hold off on that, though. Because that's a, that's a game where you play in the plane, and I'll be switching my character quite a bit. I love Pipsy for the car races. I don't like Pipsy for the plane or hover hovercraft races, though. Oh, great, we're facing TT. That'll be fair. On the first lap, I want to emphasize getting the bananas over the boosts, but I will stay t still take the boosts that give me really good shortcuts. Thus far, the mirror mode is not really screwing me up all that much. Probably because the races right now are still very, very simple. Slow down a little bit for up here so we can... Okay, never mind, we don't grab the banana. How did nobody grab those bananas? That just, that just seems wrong. Oh yeah, look at the map how far ahead I am. That's how good Pipsy is. Now, and if you thought Pipsy was good, again, TT is even better. It's kind of disgusting how good TT is. And again, I'm not sure if the early races expect you to know about all of these advanced tricks on Adventure 2. I'm not sure if the AI is any more difficult than Adventure 2, I just know that the Silver Coin challenges are harder. Ah oh, yeah, ten bananas! Oh no! Wow, I almost lapped some people. In fact, I would have lapped Timber if I hadn't hit that landmine at the end. Pipsy is open. Please nerf. Actually, don't nerf Pipsy, she's actually... I think as far as the tier lists go, Pipsy's actually the worst character in the game just because she has such a low speed, but she's fast enough on um, in the car for us. At least when we're going up against the AI. She's probably not ideal for setting the time trial records, though. Oh yeah, one of my favorite races right here. Jungle Falls. Love it. Short and sweet. Oh, where's the bridge? Oh, okay. Not knowing exactly where the bridge was almost screwed me up. Oh, man. 
I am so much better in this now than I was when I let's played it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Jungle Falls is great. Super fast course. <laughs> great scenery, great music. Love it. Most of the stream will probably just be watching Taj give us the trophies. Even though I think we can actually what skip this. But I like seeing the sky turn to pink. Matches Pipsy perfectly. You know what? I will try the bonus game with Pipsy. Because you don't really need to be fast for this one. Fire Mountain! Be the first to hatch free eggs. Banjo's egg. Hey, get away from there! Oh, crap. That was stupid. You can't launch power-ups when you have the eggs in your hand. I literally just destroyed Banjo's egg for... fun. Actually, Pipsy's sharp turning could be advantageous on this course. Get away from my hatching nest. Oh, that was easy. Never mind. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice job, Pipsy. Pretty good flying for a mouse. You won first prize. Aw, I'm, I'm touched. The AI were very nice to me. They weren't even trying to steal my eggs. Cool! You have a piece of the TT amulet. You have three more to collect. Good luck. Oh, those won't be too bad. This, however, is where we're going to change our characters, because the next race is a plane race. So we're breaking out my other man, Timber. Timber's one of my favorites. He just has great stats all around. He has a good bit of extra speed over Pipsy as well. Car challenge to test your driving skills. You must race me around the island. All right, easy. You don't want to do the power sliding too long, otherwise you'll skid out. But doing so actually will increase your top speed. Oh wow, you can zoom in. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so like, right now, I'm going 60, but when I do this, go a little bit faster. And when I tap A, I also go a little bit faster. It all adds up. Hello, friend. Well done, take I this as a reward. Ah, oh, you're very nice. I personally prefer having the map view, though. Alright, off to Hot Top Volcano. As much as I like Pipsy, Pipsy's not very good in a plane. Her, her low speed just really hurts her there. Her low speed really hurts her outside of any car level, because she can't do the tap A trick. Yeah. I'm not holding the A button at all. Only now have I started holding the A button again. 
<laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome. Dude, Pipsy is amazing, and I will fight people on that. Once you slow down to the point where you're around the speed of your normal top speed, that's when you can start holding the A button again. But even then, look, like they're on my tail a lot more here than they were on the car levels, just because without the tap A trick, you uh, you don't go nearly as fast. And this is where I'm playing as Timber, who has pretty good overall top speed. He's not like the fastest in the game, or even the second fastest, but he is a lot faster than Pipsy is. And bada beam, bada boom. First place! Silver coin challenge on that level might be tough. <laughs> Plus, Timber drives green vehicles, and green is my favorite color. Oh yeah, boss time. Oh, I normally do this boss as Pipsy, so this might be a little interesting. Hey, Timber here. Well done, kid. Now I challenge you to a race. Also, this game has A plus voice acting. So good. Uh oh. That's what happens when you use it for too long. Uh oh. I do not want him crushing me. So again, tap a trick. Tap a trick makes things so much better. Thing that I didn't realize was here when I played this on my channel. There's a shortcut here. Shortcut is off-road though, so and it requires some very tough turning to get out. But that really helps against the second race against Tricky. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. No problem. Easy peasy win. Oh, and we didn't even see him coming up behind us, so... Yeah. We good. We good. Well done, kid. Now try my new challenge. Okay. I collect all of my silver coins from around the dino domain. For should be easy. From each level and win. And, then and win? I can't do that. That's way too difficult. And here's Taj to give us advice that I already know about. Try pressing break when skidding. Yeah, the... <laughs> he sounds a bit like Cookie Monster. Oh no, Cookie Monster sounds much more like this. Oh, no, 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 no. But I see where you're coming from. Alright, I've had enough of Dino Domain. Let's get a change of scenery. Why would you not be in the plane in the overworld? Gives you so much more explorative powers than the car does, and the hovercraft. Let's head to World 2. At the very least, so we can play Everfrost Peak. Another plane level. I'm basically prioritizing play the levels that aren't cars, so I can play all the car levels as Pipsy. Okay, I saw this level on a speedrun. 
it was insane. Like, they did the whole level basically without ever holding the A button. Don't know how you even do that. Oh. Thank thankfully, Conquer hit the tree as well. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. Okay, now Mirror Mode's screwing me up a little bit. You can hit those pads on the ground. This is very difficult. There we go. This game has such good music. Ouch. Uh oh. Oh, it's never mind. We have a good lead. We we fine. I've also heard that if you can spam the uh, barrel roll, that also makes you go faster, but that's hard to do, because it makes you go kind of haywire. Oh, I didn't hit that boost pad, really? Or that one? Nope. That's wrong. <laughs> I wanted to do a barrel roll, not a loop de doop but we won first anyways. Woohoo! <laughs> Gimme my balloon, please. <laughs> Snowball Valley. That's a fun one. And then we can head back to Di Dino Domain and do Hot Top Volcano Silver Coins. Oh no, this is not the way I normally go, because it's mirrored. Oh no. This is the part of the game where Mirror Mode screws me up a bit. Ooh! Oh, diddy, you jerk, but... Whew! Almost got crushed by that snowball. Move it, bum bum. We actually might lose on this race. No! Lost my level 2 boost. Oh no! I lost the race! How dare you! Hi Bear Buggle! Welcome, welcome! Forgive me, I just I just lost on an easy race. I'm not used to mirror mode. And also I'm not the best at this game. I was crunch doing it. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get crushed. I was crunch doing this while at a driving course. They just don't make much sense to me. Nobody, nobody went that way, what? Really? That's surprising. Yoink! Bear Buckle, thank you so much for the follow! I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really able to read chat all that well during the race, but... <laughs> okay, never mind. We got a great lead now. Last race was a fluke. We <laughs> Oh, ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. Woo! <laughs> 
Have I tried to unlock TT? So I have unlocked TT. I'm just doing Adventure 2 right now. But my family and I have unlocked TT many years ago. I'm going to avoid using it, though. Because he, he, that's kind of cheating. Oh no, I forgot to grab the key while I was in there. Shoot. That's okay. I wouldn't have been able to grab the key and win the race, so... Let's go back. <laughs> We're getting ourselves that key. Snowball Valley. Come on, get that key. Beautiful. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Alright, well, we can go to Icicle Pyramid now. Icicle Pyramid. Last player remaining will win! Cool. Already hit crunch. <laughs> Gotta use the radar on this one. Diddy Kong? It is. Take that, Diddy. Oh man, I almost drove down. Oh, that would have been great. I kind of like the little bonus games. It's a nice break of pace, and they're all at least decently fun. Yeet! Wow, so much for homing missiles. Couldn't even hit a turtle that was right in front of you. Alright, Diddy. <laughs> You're gonna regret it. Yep, I'm playing on an, an actual N64. Which might be why it doesn't look as good. Oh, oh there's the, the tip top. <laughs> I just vaporized tip top. That's amazing. Oh, hey, Diddy. Oh, almost vaporized Diddy. Oh, I don't think so, Crunch. Alright, Diddy's on the, se the second floor. There we go! <laughs> not too shabby. Definitely not optimal, but... <laughs> It didn't take as long as it could have. Homing missiles definitely help out. You won first prize. Oh, how wonderful. Excellent, you now have another piece of the TT amulet. You have to two more to collect. Good luck. Well, okay, tiddle okay diddly. <laughs> Should be not too bad. Alright. Back to Dino Domain. We gotta do Hot Top Volcano Silver Coins. Then we can switch back to my girl, Pipsy. Oh, hey! Nice nice timing. Hover challenge. To test your driving skills, you must race me around the island in a hovercraft. Timber's not the ideal character in a hovercraft, but he's also not bad. Oh man, it's been a while since I've raced in the hovercraft, though. I think Hovercraft is probably the toughest vehicle to race in. It controls so weird and differently, and there's not a whole lot of strategies to go super fast that I'm aware of. But that's okay. The races in the Hovercrafts are pretty few and far between, and they tend to be relatively easy. Except when they're not. I think, like, the speedrunner's trick for doing the hovercraft challenges quickly are, like, strategically hitting walls so that they push you forwards. It's very weird. I am not good enough at the game to do that! Oh, thank goodness they kid. Thank goodness this hovercraft still has a horn. That is an essential piece of driving equipment. Uh-oh. 
That sucks when you hit a wall going on an upward slope. Hey, frog. Yeah, like if you kind of do that, you can see hitting the wall while jumping kind of pushing you forward a bit. But speedrunners can just do that like constantly. Speedrunner, I am not. I'm just the guy playing the game that he grew up with trying to do the hard mode. And with that... Give me my prize, Taj. Oh wow, I'm not... The hovercraft isn't tall enough to be able to grab it. Hello, friend. Select your Kalakazam! Cool. Eleven balloons! We're actually doing really well. We've gotten the balloons really fast. <laughs> Granted, we're still on the easy part of the game, so... Alright, Hot Top Volcano, Silver Coin Challenge. So, I know the Silver Coins can be in different places now than they were in Adventure 1, so... Oof. What the... I don't even know what I just did there. So first lap, I'm kind of going to get an idea of where they are, try to grab some bananas, grab any silver coins that I can see and easily grab. I like trying to grab all the silver coins in the first two laps. It makes the last lap a lot... It allows me to focus the last lap entirely just on racing well. Oh, yeah. I thought there might be one over here. Okay, there are two left, and I know where they both are. Yeah, this is where the game ain't messing around. Oh man, I'm far behind. My initial spell actually may have uh, prevented me from being able to win this. Catching up, but I don't know if I'll have enough. I don't know if there's enough of the course left for me to be able to catch up entirely. Yeah. Did he had too big of a lead? Okay. First lap, get in first, grab bananas. Grab the bananas, we'll be able to get the lead. And keep it. Ouch. We can focus on the silver coins in the future laps. But we can still pick up the odd silver coin as we see them. Alright, cool. Ten bananas. We juice them now. We also need to make sure we don't let the first placer get too big of a lead. Gotta get that silver coin in the first room, which actually is a pretty tough silver coin to grab. Okay, good. Alright, we should be good now. Just hit the boosts to keep our speed up. That should be that. Woohoo! Alright, that was fun. That was fun. That was a good challenge. Alright, I think we need to go back to a different character now. Pipsy. Definitely Pipsy. 
When in doubt, Pipsy. All right, Pipsy's gonna clear out the Dino Domain for us. Doo, 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 doo. Dino Domain. Ancient Lake. Ancient Lake Silver Coin Challenge should be a walk in the park. No biggie at all. Same strategy. Focus on bananas for the first lap. Great, TT's our main competition. That's not good. Alright. Alright, we're doing pretty well. We have two uh, silver coins left, and they're both alone here. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> Woohoo! Sippy little mouse, aren't you, Pipsy? I love it. All right, Fossil Canyon time. Fossil Canyon. This one could be tough, depending on where the silver coins are placed. I don't like how TT is constantly being my main competition on these uh, tracks, the silver coin challenge. Oof, that silver coin's in a nasty position. Way far off road. Oh, that's... that's evil. That one's also kind of evil. One left, and I bet it's down here. Oh, that's not nice. Man, the silver coins on this level are not fun. Nor is having TT be my main competition. The last silver coin, and bada beam, bada boom. But this is still the first world, so they're gonna get a lot harder. I'm not looking forward to the ones in Future Funland. Or Dragon Forest. But here we go Jungle Falls, saving the best for last. Okay, that's bad. But we actually, I think, kind of needed to do that. Oh, I just realized the coins on this level could be downright evil. Back! Okay, that was a mistake. That was a mistake! <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! Uh, I, w I was winning. Noticing a trend, anytime someone just joins Twitch chat, I start sucking at the game. Okay, maybe we can get that silver coin without falling in the river. That would be very nice. Just 
just drive. Drive, Pipsy. Don't let Diddy Kong get the best of us. We're still missing quite a few silver coins, though. There's one. Oh no! That's evil! That's evil! Why would they do that? Why would they put a silver coin there? Hi, Jay. Welcome. Eh? Okay, where's that last silver coin? There's one silver coin that is unaccounted for. Okay. Well, now I know where they all are. Wow, I missed all of them. Actually, no. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We're gonna use a boost to go off of that. We're gonna pick up a blue balloon and then boost off of that. Yeah. We're gonna lose a lot less time that way. Take that, TT. You shouldn't be allowed to race. You're too good. It's like having Tro Bowser on your team in Mario Power Tennis. I think at that point, the game's already decided. Oh, no. no! Stop knocking me back in the water! Yeah, for the Silver Coin Challenges, knowing really is half of the battle. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad. I hate how you can't see the bridge until it's kind of too late to reorient yourself. Especially since they put a boost panel right in front of it. I'll save the boost for the second lap into the river, because that way I'll have more bananas. And with more bananas, I'll have more speed, and hopefully we'll be able to get through that. Oh, that dog line. How the- oh, that must have been a homie missile. I'm like, how the heck did they sharpshoot me? They had a homie missile, that's how. Alright, new plan. We're gonna grab the, the blue balloon, but we're not gonna hit the boost panel. And there we go, with eight bananas, it's only a short trip in the drink. Oh wait, we still have one silver coin missing. Oh, it's this one. Cool. There we go! Whew! That is still one of my favorite levels, but that was a tough challenge. Boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Alright. Time for the final showdown against Tricky. Prince Tricky. Not sure if Pipsy's the ideal person to face him with, but we're doing it anyways. If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. Ooh. <laughs> special prize. Yes, please. With the tap A trick, this should be fine. Unless Tricky got faster in Adventure 2. Uh oh. Didn't get the big boost. That's okay. I don't need it. Uh oh. <laughs> I freaking love the boss music in this, though. It's so good. Oh, no! No! No, Pipsy, no! <laughs> no! Oh, 
No! <laughs> no, this is not a mod, this is just Adventure 2, which you get after beating Adventure Mode. It's Adventure 1, except all of the courses are mirrored, and the silver coins are in different places. And also, the characters might be faster. I still don't know for sure. Uh-oh. Don't hit the tree. No, don't hit the tree. I still haven't gotten the power sliding down pat. But now that I know it does make you go a bit faster, I'm trying to use it more. Especially on a course like this, where it's just a giant turn up. Okay, okay. We got a good solid lead now. Ow! Get, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh no, there's no boost in there now. Oh no! That's actually a long cut now. footsteps. No! 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 You dumb butt! He ran me over at the end! Oh, well, if that happens, then at least that happened at the beginning. Yikes! Tricky is not messing around. It seems very unpredictable when the skidding causes you to skid out. Like, sometimes you can do it for like five seconds, and sometimes it's like, oh, did you skid for two seconds? You're skidding out. Maybe it's how much you hold the, the control stick in a given direction. I still don't know the full mechanics of how it works. Again, I'm no expert at this game. <laughs> I have learned a lot watching speedrunners, but... make it through a lot faster. <laughs> I hate it. That's apparently all off-road. Using the boost towards the top is actually a little on the risky side. Probably should not have done that. Alright, cool. Whew. And I even couldn't see him at the end. Okay, we won by a good amount. And now my hand is tired from tapping A so much. You weren't a piece of the amulet. Now try the trophy challenge. See you later. I think I'll try the trophy challenge perhaps later. Congratulations, you have won a piece of the magical amulet. There are three more pieces to collect. If only that's how it worked in real life. <laughs> oh hey, I won I won the uh, the little league like roller derby pinewood derby race. Oh well, here's a, this golden piece of the amulet. Every piece you get turns a part of this rock sculpture into an actual pig. It's like what? All right, honk. Hello, select you. Back to snow uh, snowflake mountain. Still do not know how to get that down. The barrel rolls. Snowflake now. Frosty Village. Oh, I love Frosty Village. Very fun track. 
just screams Christmas. Nothing says Christmas like shooting your friends with missiles. Actual quote by Kim Jong Un. I mean, what? This off-road part here is going to be annoying to do in mirror mode, because I don't remember exactly where all the panels are. But I guess it didn't matter. I got through it just fine. Diddy Kong Racing knew how to do music right. David Wise is a genius. You know what would have been cool? If on Adventure 2 mode, in addition to making the silver coins in different places, they could have also made the, uh, the keys in different places as well, because there are tons of places you could have hidden the keys on all of these courses. In fact, exploring the courses for the keys was one of my favorite parts of this game. Oh no! I had too many bananas, I was going too fast to hit that boost ramp. Oh yeah, 20 bananas. No contest! <laughs> Pipsy overpowered. In a car. Oh yeah. This ain't my first rodeo in Diddy Kong Racing. This is for you. This is for you. Boom. Disco ball number... 16. Alright. Still not sure if I like Walrus Cove more than Frosty Village. It's pretty close. They're both so good. like about Pipsy, she can just grab the bananas so easily. No, no nonsense. <laughs> she has, like, incredible control over her car. Oops, did I say she has great control over her car? She does, especially when compared to all the other racers, but... Honestly, I like all of the courses on Snowflake Mountain. Everfrost Peak is not as good, but it's still very good. Oh, I, lo I love seeing everybody else going through the window. That's great. Boom! <laughs> but do you have good control of the car? No, I don't. I don't care if Pipsy's bottom tier. For me, she'll always be top tier. I mean, she's not TT tier. Nothing else is, but... Out of the legal characters to play as in competitive multiplayer, I, Pipsy's my favorite. Only for cars. For planes and... For planes, probably my go-to is generally Timber or Bumper. And then my go-to for Hovercraft is Drumstick or Crunch. Oh, well... Boss time. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll play the bosses, Pipsy, because then we can do the silver coin challenges for the cars. But then we're gonna have to swap over to someone else for the second walrus race, because the walrus can be a bit of a pain if you're Pipsy. She's just not that fast. Well done! Now I challenge you to a race. <laughs> I accept. Alright. Time to face Bluey the Walrus, and he's not too bad. This guy probably should have been made to be a little faster than Pipsy when she's in the hovercraft. At least a little bit. Because the first walrus race is very easy. Actually, both of the walrus races are pretty easy, as long as you're not Pipsy for the second one. I wish there was a button to look backwards. Here he comes, the rumbling. He's busy. Well done. Now try my new challenge. Collect all the silver coins from the snow world. Collect eight from each level and win. Then come back and see me. Okay, boss. All right, what useless piece of information will Taj tell us that I already know today? Take your finger you. off the accelerator just before you hit a zipper. Very good advice. Definitely have known that for a long time. <laughs> also, make sure that you do that even when you uh, go over a... when you use a boost power-up as well. I know we just finished Walrus Cove, but I want to go for round two. <laughs> Actually, this one could be pretty evil for the Silver Coin Challenge. Oh my gosh, I already saw one, and it was in an evil location. Alright, like thus far, apart from the first one, there aren't too many in annoying locations. I don't like having Drumstick as my main competition, though. Drumstick and TT as your main competition is a no no. Okay, that one is evil. <laughs> oh, that one's also evil. You gotta be perfectly aimed at the end of that loop. That was a waste of a boost. Why did I do that? How did I know there was going to be one up there? Darn, I need to get better at aiming those missiles. Alright, drumstick. Going down! That was close! Almost didn't make that. Can't my drumstick catch us? We'll finish for time for Christmas! Wow, first try. Drumstick and TT re replace random people every race. Not every race, because there are there are ten characters in the game and eight characters in every race. So there will be a random two characters that will not appear. Could be. So they have a chance of appearing in any given race, but they don't always appear. But it seems like they have a very high chance of appearing for these silver coin challenges, and they always tend to be your main competition. 
Alright, there's a silver coin over there. And a silver coin there, alright. Not too bad so far. Alright, this is very doable thus far. Wow, dude. Wow, my missile just clipped into the course. That was cool. Stick. Move your butt. I think the last one is in the middle of the snowball field at the end. Wait. What? Oh, that's just mean. Oh, that's evil. Ouch. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> Try to get the hard ones first. Okay, that one is just not nice. Yikes! Can't neglect the bananas either. Yo! Woohoo! <laughs> Wow, how did I not get flattened by that? Where the heck is the first placer in all of this? Oh, there, of course it's TT. No! Oh! Wait, what?! <laughs> At first I thought the game screwed me by launching me to the right, but apparently I won! <laughs> oh, I, I don't... Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Every, I'll take it right to the bank. This one I think is going to be the tough one, because there are a lot of places those, those silver coins could be hidden. Okay, yeah, I fully expected there to be one around the villages. Yep, there's one over there. How many are there in this off-road area? Ouch. I have not found that many coins. Man, those the first placers have quite the lead. How did I not hit that zipper? Alright, there's the other one. We just have one left. It'll probably be... Oh! There it is. Okay. I thought it was going to be in the center in the uh, foggy area. Nope. Cool. We can take our good old off-road shortcut again. Hope we hit every booster this time. Aha! Now we ride! Woohoo! Yeah! First try on Frosty Village. I am I'm surprised. Alright. 
Now we've got some airplane courses and some hovercraft courses. Let's see. I'm Banjo. Let's break out our butt Banjo. I would be remiss if I didn't play as Banjo at least a little bit in this game. Plane challenge, test your flying skills. I can do that. With liberal use of the power slide brake. Beep! It's kind of annoying that the airplane course is basically exactly the same as the hovercraft course. Like they could have made it a little more unique, I feel. It's just like instead of going through the underwater tunnel, you go through this tunnel. The airplane course could have been a little more creative. Is this an alternate Mario Kart? I mean, this is not Mario Kart. This this was a racing game on the N64 alongside Mario Kart. I think that Mario Kart is much better multiplayer, and Diddy Kong Racing is much better single player. That's because Diddy Kong Racing like actually kind of has a single player. Yeah, I think Diddy Kong was the only, uh, only like character that had been in other things in this game, because this was the first game Banjo was ever in. But all, And this was also the first game that Conker was ever in, and they both got their own games, but all the other characters did not. Wow, way to dominate, Banjo. Nice job. Hello, everybody for now. But Diddy Kong Racing, when it was first made, it's like Diddy Kong was the only character that had a name and then everyone else was original. A lot of them were intended on getting kind of their own spin-off series, but only Conker and Banjo actually went off to do that. Alright, Everfrost Peak Silver Coin Challenge. Dahoo! Curious to see where all the silver coins are going to be on this one. Alright, there's one down here. I saw that one down there in the ditch. That's not nice. Man. They're all over the place. That's a tough one to get as Banjo. Yeah, actually, a lot of these silver coins are going to be tough to grab as Banjo. Due to his, uh, wonky turning. Dog on it, Bumper. Stop it. very end. But there's another mystery one around here. Okay, interesting. There's still one out there that I do not know about. I know, Banjo's voice is great. Oh, 
Banjo is not the best character to choose in the plane, but he's also, I'd say, better than Pipsy just because he's so much faster. You kind of do need some speed. Alright, only one coin left. Where the heck is that last coin? Is that last coin? <laughs> Where the heck is the last coin? I just gotta find that. There's a giant snow cap up here. Maybe it's along here somewhere? I don't care about winning right now, I'm just trying to find out where my final coin is. Probably in some place really evil. That might be where it is. But I, wait, I thought I already grabbed that one on the original race. Maybe not? Oh, of course, because OBS has to disconnect every single freaking stream. Yes, the stream died because OBS is a huge butt to me and refuses to actually work throughout the entire duration of a single stream. Uh, you didn't miss anything. I'm still just hunting for the coins, so I'm trying to grab all the coins I see to see how many... Because I found one that was, like, hugging a wall. I thought I already grabbed it, but there's a chance maybe I didn't. Oh, okay, I did, I did grab that one. All right. I don't even want to tell you how many times I've been lapped. I think I actually did find it, it was just not in a very fun spot. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I have found them all. It's just in a very stupid spot. Yeah, it's right here on this wall basically forcing you to crash into it in order to grab it. Fun for the whole family. Bonk. Ow. Yikes! Okay. <laughs> Stop them from getting a big lead. Alright, we juice it. 
get it because it's bananas. No. Oh, and just like that, we're in first place. Oh, gone it. Don't mess with Banjo, or you gonna get wrecked. And there we go. Yeah! Nice job, Banjo. Alright, Banjo, now you can beat Bluey the Walrus for the second time. It's gonna be fun! Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember the walrus being that tough. I certainly remember him being the easiest of the four main bosses. Each boss gets progressively harder, except for this guy. I, st I think Tricky the Triceratops is a bit easier. But maybe that's me misremembering things. Can't tell if I actually hit him. Proper use of jumps is important for this fight. This fight. Hey. Ah, what the? What the heck was that snowball doing? I've never seen the snowball do that before. That's okay, we still got some power-ups in the final stretch. Aha! Sharp shot! Wow, even with the snowball going out of its way to wreck me, I still won first try. Nice one, Banjo. Well done. You've won a piece of the amulet. Hot dog. Now try the trophy challenge. Goodbye, kid. <laughs> the special prize is not actually a piece of the amulet. It's just like his autograph. Well done, you now have two pieces of the amulet. Only two more to go. Keep it up. <laughs> I'll do my best. You know, Banjo's actually not bad in a car either, from what I've <laughs> from what I just experienced. Alright, bye Snowflake Mountain. You were an awesome world. But now we're going to Sherbet Island. Another great world. Actually, this game does a great job of making the worlds all fun and unique. We go into the beach. Let's start with the hovercraft levels. Pirate Lagoon. Ah, uh, Pirate Lagoon has, in my opinion, the best music in the game. Or at least one of them. Like, I find the key for the hovercraft almost is just to literally use the R button a lot to hop. It really helps you around the turns. I don't know the last time the pirates had, like, a castle, but I won't complain. Amazing. 
Oh no! That's gonna leave a mark. Conquer, get out of here. My games are better than yours. Oh, what? How is that not the boost? Conquer, move your squirrely behind out of my way. That was a close one! Woo! Conquer and Banjo battling it out to see whose games were better. Banjo's games were better. I actually never played any of Conquer's games, but I just know they were really mature for no real reason. Actually, it was probably they were super mature to stand out from the other 3D platformers of the time. Oh boy, 20 free disco balls. I love it. We're on our way to Wiggle Bay. I mean, Whale Bay. Whale Bay. That's all those great music, too. Alright, can we take the whale shortcut? Yes, we can! I wonder how our hovercraft has a speedometer on it. Bumper, get out of here! This is not your game. I know it's not Banjo's either, but it might as well be. There is a shocking lack of bananas on this course. Or maybe the computer boys already took them all. Oh, here we go. Was close. He almost didn't give me those bananas in time. Oh, hey, there's a whale over here, too. Hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Let's try banjo on some of those uh, car courses as well. No point in having Pipsy do everything in the game. Well, I mean, there is a point for doing that, because she's amazing, but... Do, 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 do. I swear it sounds like the announcer says Christmas Island, which would have also been an amazing course. Alright, Banjo, already off to an interesting start. Alright, this part might be tough with Banjo. Alright, I guess we're going in here. Heck, that just started forcing me to turn in the exact opposite direction of where I was indicating. Move the drumstick. Come on, Banjo! Come on, Banjo! These guys are scrubs. Come on, Banjo! Stop missing these zippers! What the? 
once again, the zipper just forced me to start power sliding in the complete opposite direction. That screwed me up like three times that race. I'm bigger than you are. There's no universe where a rooster is bigger than a bear. I feel like even a bear cub would be bigger than a rooster. Taj, you have all of these balloons for me? Can you just give them all to me since I've proven myself in Adventure 1? Nope. It'll help me beat Wizpig. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Anyhow, we now have a key to grab. Why can't I use the hovercraft for this level? Well, we can still grab the key, it'll just be a lot more annoying. It's way over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect the key to be on Crescent Island. I fully expected on my first time playing the key would be on Treasure Caves. Because that has way more hiding spots. But nope, there's the key. Do 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 do. Bum ba la dun da da dun dun dun. Yes. Let's go and play that bonus game, shall we? Darkwater Beach. Darkwater Beach. Last player remaining will win. Easy. Actually, this is harder than Icicle Pyramid because the hovercraft don't control as nicely. Also, don't even bother with the green power-ups. I don't think they will ever affect the enemies unless they're on screen. Poor Timber. Timber, I'll knock you out right now if that's what you want. These bonus games are basically grab homie missiles, go to town. Your face, Diddy. So Timber's knocked out. Oh, 
Oh, sharp shot. Almost sharp shot him again. It's just you and me, Diddy. Soon to be just me. for me forever, Diddy. Bye! Bye-bye. <laughs> bye 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 <laughs> Oh, it was, thank you, thank you. It was nothing. Man, Banjo looks weird with tiny pupils. You won first prize. Ooh, my favorite. First prize is my favorite prize to win. Amazing! You now have the free pieces of the TT Amulet. Just one more piece to go. Good luck. <laughs> I guess the one time that first prize was not better than fourth prize is the... <laughs> I saw a screenshot on Twitter where it's like, like, wow, this didn't age well. There was like, I think it was like a mini gaming tournament. And it's like, first prize, like $20. Like, second prize, like blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, fourth prize, like 20 Bitcoin. Because it was way back... It happened way back in the day when... Bitcoin was worth nothing. And now I'm like, wow, 20 Bitcoin now would, like, would make you a millionaire. <laughs> Alright, Treasure Caves. Another underrated course, I would say. I really like it. Really is a crime that the key was not hidden on this level. It's like, look at all the secret places there. Plus, much like Jungle Falls, it's just a very short, fun course. And it's a car level! I love me some car levels. Actually, now that I think about it, there are very few hovercraft levels that I like, and I'm not sure if there are any plane levels that I like. Plane levels are all pretty lackluster. I guess Everfrost Peak is okay. The Evers, though, not really. Ooh, almost slapped them. <laughs> nice one, Banjo. Okay, that's an easy course for Banjo. Whoa, oh, oh. Hello there. I've always thought the backs of the cars had. It looked like they had eyeballs, so it was like faces looking at you. I know they're the tail lights, but still. Oh boy. <laughs> Time for the most obnoxious boss in the game. I'm not sure if he's the hardest, but he's definitely the most obnoxious. <laughs> Hi, Bubbler. Are you guys ready for some ALCOHOL? Because that's what we're getting. Oh boy, mirror mode this course will be terrible. Yep. This guy's a dirty cheater if I've ever seen one. Gets a head start and drops a bunch of stuff for us to hit. But the nice thing about Bubbler is once you get up in front of him, the whole race is really easy. Because you are faster than he is. So the whole challenge of the race is just getting in front of him, and once you're there, you're golden. Because he can't really do anything about it once you're in front of him. He's slow and can only drop things backwards. I've also kind of always wondered why you can never race on the boss courses in multiplayer. Would've been interesting. 
Maybe it wouldn't have worked so well for the first two, where they're just straight shots to the finish, but... This one and the next one... ...are all just generic race courses. Okay. Bubbler 1 is easy. Bubbler 2 is where the nightmares happen. Try that. Shh. All right. Start. We're on our way to Whale Bay. This one probably won't be too difficult, I would imagine. Whale Bay is a very simple course, but that might make it actually more difficult because the computer players can probably get through it really quickly. I guarantee you there's going to be at least one above the whale shortcut. So there is! Yeah, most of this thus far looks like the hard part's going to come just from beating the computer players, not from collecting the silver coins. Okay, that one is a little bit annoying, because it's very out of the way. But it leads to a bunch of bananas, so maybe that's what we should do on the first lap. Okay, yeah, I can see the hardest part of this challenge by far is going to be just beating the computer players. Especially if Drumstick is our competition. Oh, you fool! I have nine bananas! Victory! Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing we picked up all those bananas. We were juicing. Man, I think we'll just keep with Banjo for now. He's good. I forgot how good he was. This course with the silver coins could be problematic. Especially that giant open area back there. There could be silver coins lining the walls somewhere. Could be very irritating. Thus far, though, it's very straightforward and simple. Okay, never mind. Wow, never mind. Got all the silver coins on lap one. Okay. I definitely lucked out for that last one, but still. Oh, what? I didn't grab the balloon? I fully expected there to be, like, a coin way back... Oh, that was my own oil slick. Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of those computer players would have slept on it if the collision detection were for them. If they're not on screen and they hit one of those oil patches, they'll just pass over it and nothing will happen. Easy! I'm pretty sure I got lucky with a couple of those silver coins, though. All right, Banjo. Well, you dominated a treasure cave, so hopefully that'll be pretty easy. Hopefully. I know the computer works will be a lot tougher now, but still. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, that one over there is going to be a pain. I don't know, though. This... Oh, there are 
two over there. Man, how has this how has this world had the easiest silver coin challenges thus far? Granted, haven't tried Christmas Island yet, but <laughs> wow, the first three were all quite easy. All right, Crescent Island I think is going to be the toughie because that one was tough just to win the race. Christmas Island. Christmas Island. Okay, there's a coin over there as well. That's bad. Way to hit right into the post and not be able to move. Drive up the stupid ramp, Banjo. I guarantee you there's one up here. There's not. Okay, that's not good. Pipsy, what are you doing in last place on a car level? It's embarrassing. Heck are all the remaining silver coins though? Alright, I'm not gonna win, I just wanna figure out where the rest of the Okay, oh there's one over there. Okay. Interesting. Aha! Come on! This pirate ship is super annoying. Get caught on everything. last two silver coins, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Are they up here somewhere? I gotta find out where these last two coins are before I have a chance at winning. Okay, that's just evil right there. So we have one there. Yeah, I knew this was going to be the tough one.
There's gotta be something else in the pirate ship, right? Gotta be something else in the pirate ship. Lady! Hi, Marty. Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing, although I'm not sure how much fun it is right now. We're doing the silver coin challenges. And I can't find where this last pesky coin is on Christmas Island. I mean, Crescent Island. No, no, no! Wrong way! Now I gotta be on the hunt for this one stupid coin. Isn't it out here somewhere? Oh my gosh, really? Wow, alright, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be a tough one. Alright, first lap, we're gonna go down this tunnel to pick up some bananas. And then at the end, we can pick up that coin. Cool. Everybody's hogging all the bananas. Get out of Diddy Comb. I'm running the Empire today. Talk on it, they keep cutting in front of me. How are they going faster than me? I'm Banjo freaking Kazooie. I'm a pretty fat guy. Like Crunch, Drumstick, and TT could should be faster than me, and that's it. This is gonna be tough. Especially with Banjo. The Diddy and Conquer should not be this fast right now. I think they get extra speed just because they're in the main competition. If you let them get too big of a lead, then you ain't catching up. That that coin right there is the annoying one. And look at how much of a lead Diddy Cone has! You grab a couple of coins and then it's just like, Haha, you're never catching me! I think we need to break out the big guns. Gotta break out the pipster. If anybody can do a car level at this speed, it's Pipsy. Crescent Island as Pipsy. This should go a little bit better. She's got much better turning. Crescent Island. Pipsy doesn't have much of a problem grabbing that one. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this is much better. I mean, still in 8th place, but we're much closer now. Gosh, but they... Oh, great. But now TT is my main competition, and he's just unfairly good. At least we have all the coins now, and it's not even the last lap. Duck on it! Why is it TT is my main competition whenever I'm Pipsy? On. You hit that zipper, I know you did. Duck on it! Oh, look, TT's my main competition again. It better not be dependent, like, oh, if you're Pipsy, it's always TT as your main cop. Because that would just be not fair. I plan to go for it, but I don't know, TT might have too big of a lead. Because this definitely seems like it's one of those uh, games where it's not everybody for himself, it's all of the AI collectively against you. The AI. Oh, okay, cool. They're right there. Alright. Move it, TT. I'm the real-time trial star here. Dude, you just you can't beat Pipsy in a car race. You just can't. I mean, you can if you're really good at the game. Whew! They knew Pipsy was good, so they nerfed her with TT's brother. You know, that could be the case. Whew! My hands are sore from tapping A so much, but that's okay. But I am not having Pipsy take on alcohol version 2. No way. No way, no how. <laughs> we need someone really good. Crunch is actually very, very good in the hovercraft. Hey, bro. Hello, friend. Gotta love the lag. <laughs> Alright, Crunch. Crunch is basically unusable in a car. Or in a plane. But in a hovercraft, he's pretty much champ. Shipping Island. Hi, it's Crunch. Zoom! We actually might be able to do all of Adventure 2 in one stream. It might just be a long stream. That's a big if there, uh, Alcohol the Octopus. That's a big if. can get in first and stay in first. For those of you who can't tell, he's constantly dropping bubbles behind him. If you hit a bubble, then you basically lose the race because it makes you stop for like five seconds. 
Oh my gosh. Yes, with Crunch we can cheese alcohol. You get the big boost, he can push you in first. <laughs> Told you Crunch was good in a hovercraft. Turning really doesn't have any effect on the hovercrafts. They all kind of turn equally bad. Oh, but his bubbles actually stay out for a lot longer than his grenades do. <laughs> Did I say he was the most annoying uh, fight of the game? That's actually very much incorrect. Obviously, Whizpig is the worst fight. Wow, in your face, Bubbler. Well done, Shrimp. You have earned a piece of the ambulance. Now try the trophy chair. <laughs> there was an opponent? There was an attempt. <laughs> Can't beat Crunch in a hovercraft. In every other vehicle, you absolutely can beat Crunch. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Well done, just one more piece of the amulet left. Soon you will be ready for Whiz Pig. You can do it. Oh, that's nice game. Thank you. I hope I can too, except this is where the game gets real nasty. Ah, uh, we'll still use Crunch. We can use him for Boulder Canyon. Oh, that's right, we do also still have all the trophy races to do. <laughs> this world is simultaneously my favorite and my least favorite. It has my favorite course of all, but it also has some of my least favorite courses in the game. Boulder Canyon, Boulder Canyon is fun. It's one of the few hovercraft levels that I actually think is really good. Also, it's the best hidden key in the whole game on it. Once again, not sure about you guys, but in this world, I fully expected the key to be hidden on Windmill Plains or Greenwood Village. Let mirror mode screw me up this time. Huh, I wonder. Whoa. Crunch just cannot get the key. Crunch is physically incapable of grabbing the key. He can't go up that. Guess we'll use Old Reliable for it. By <laughs> that I mean Pipsy. Oh, hey, Diddy, thanks for using the log to uh, knock me that way. And there we go. Bold the camp. We will have to go back there to grab the key when we're someone not as fat as Crunch. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, Crunch, there's your there's your screen time for the stream. I'm gonna try playing as every single character, but yeah, Crunch, I don't think I'll be playing as you for more than that. <laughs> He's just not good outside of a hovercraft. 
Donkey Kong Racing! Alright, next, let's see. We haven't played as Diddy, Bumper, Tip Tup, or Conquer. I'll save Diddy for the Whizpig races. Um. Actually, no, not Conquer. Tip Tip, I think, might be stat wise identical to Pipsy, but I like Pipsy more. Pipsy seems like she has better turning. I think Tip Top might be a tiny bit faster, but Pipsy still has better handling over her vehicle. And Pipsy's not as obnoxious as Tip Top is. <laughs> Alright, Boulder Canyon. Let's try to get the key now. Watch out! I guess I can also be the other characters for some of the trophy races. Like, Conker might be good for some of those trophy races, because he's pretty good all around. There we go! That's such a well-hidden key. I love it. And now it's time for the easiest bonus game. Smoky Castle. Smoky Castle. First person to get, I believe, ten bananas is the winner. And get them into the castle. Ah. I think you can, can you hold two or three bananas? Just two. Cool. It's not like I wanted to hold any more. All right, Crunch. You think you can just come in here and do that to me? I'll destroy you. Oh, poor Diddy ain't having such a good time. Oh, I mistook the banana for Crunch. Hi, Crunch. You deserve it. Might be a little tougher if the banana peels stopped spawning in the same place all the time. Just a thought. Crunch, stop hanging around my HQ. Like, come off it. Don't worry about what Tip Top's doing. Worry about what you're doing. Easy peasy. Smoky Castle, you are a cinch. And that's the last bonus game. You won first prize. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know I did. Fantastic! The amulet is complete! Use this to enter the TT door! Well done. We're gonna need that for later. Alright, Tip Top. We're off to Greenwood Village. Possibly my least favorite course in the game. Greenwood Village. One of them, at least. This one has an obnoxious silver coin challenge, let me tell you what.
My gosh, Tip Top is annoying. He's just constantly talking. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Definitely an interesting course, don't get me wrong, it's just Greenwood Village is very difficult when the Silver Coin Challenge is enabled. I saw that bubble! This is the easy AI, and they're already still right behind me. Granted, I am tipped up, but... <laughs> I just barely won that. And there were no silver coins. So, eesh. I shudder to think what's gonna happen next. Thanks! Alright, that's enough of Tip Top. Let's go and be Bumper. No, not Adventure. Adventure 2. Bumper's good in a plane, and we're about to go to Windmill Plane, so... Hello. Select your Abracadabra. Plus, I, I like Bumper. Even though his color is yellow, I like him anyways. I do love me some badgers. Hello! <laughs> hey, drumstick! <laughs> drumstick for plane only. <laughs> Great username. Thank you so much, and welcome. We're doing very well thus far. But of course, we all know how fast that can go south. Drumstick would, is at his worst in the plane. I know Drumstick's just a very good character all around, but I feel like I find Drumstick is at his best in the hovercraft and then in the car. But hey, what do I know? I ain't no professional Diddy Kong Racing player. Man, they, they don't mess around in Adventure 2. Stop hitting me with missiles! What did I do to you? How do you guys like it? Oh, hey, it's Drumstick in the plane. He's doing pretty well for himself. Every every lap, when I get to that part, someone hits me with a homing missile. That's super obnoxious. Oh yeah, AI definitely steps up their game. Come, Windmill, or come, Dragon Forest. Take that drumstick, get out of my way. How the heck did drumstick get that far? There's no way he could have gotten up here that quickly. Oh, Bobber, somebody's cheating. Ha! <laughs> I 
I jumped the to I jumped the drop the toxic goo right on Diddy's face. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, well, thank you, Drumstick. Oh, you speedrun this game. That's awesome. Mad respect. <laughs> I have seen speedruns of this game. They are nuts. Yeah, TT's definitely the best overall. Thank you so much for the follow, Drumstick. Really appreciate it. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Take that. Diddy Kong. You're so annoying. <laughs> All right. Now, I know I've been pipsy a lot, but I mean... <laughs> I gotta be Pipsy for my all-time favorite course. I have to. Although, man... Hello, actually, the, uh... <laughs> the mirror mode might screw me up for this next course. Because I've played this... This next course I've played it so much, it's kind of in my muscle memory. That might screw things up. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Four lands, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome, welcome! But just in time for best course, Haunted Woods. Haunted Woods. Well, maybe not best course, but my favorite course by far. Has everything I love in a course. It's short, sweet, and epic music. Okay. Hey, I are being pushy. Drumstick, you and I are going to settle this in the streets. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, Drumstick, get out of here! Oh, I got hit by that and he didn't! Actually, that makes sense. Drum stick, kaboosh, skadoosh. Darn it, so I didn't beat the course before the music could move, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the music on that course is chef's kiss. It's so good. Oh, that's an awesome TT emote. My goodness. That's beautiful. <laughs> 34 disco balls. Yes! Oh, and of course... <laughs> Alright, well, because we're Pipsy, I guess we'll try to beat Smokey and the Dragon with Pipsy, but... That's gonna be difficult! <laughs> I know it's the first race, but... Pipsy not that good in a plane. Well, we may as well try. Excellent. Now I challenge you to a race. All right, Smokey, let's do this. Smokey looks so friendly when you see him up close, but then, like, when he runs into place there, he looks so sinister. All right. I wonder if he shoots fireballs in different places on Adventure 2. I don't know. Pipsy has good excel. <laughs> oh, just missed him. Thankfully, he doesn't go fireball crazy till his second race. Yeah, all. Oh. Needs the stupid boost. Ah Don't toast me, please. Right into the tree. That's just what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, he's like right above me. <laughs> well, I got a sucker punch for him if he tries to funny. 
No! 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 Wow, great, great aiming, Mr. Homing Missile. That was truly stupendous. It ain't over yet! Ain't over yet! <sighs> Man, okay, I hate that windmill. <laughs> it can screw you up real bad. <laughs> Take that! Excellent. Now try my new challenge. I, I know that works if you're in the car drumstick. I didn't think that works when you're in a plane or a hovercraft, though. Eight from each level and win. Because believe me, I was I'm tapping A a lot when I'm in the car, but I didn't I don't I didn't think that worked when you were in a plane. Oh, we can't do haunted woods. All right, Pipsy and Greenwood Village, we're gonna need it. Greenwood Village. This is gonna suck. This is already like the hardest silver coin challenge in Adventure One. I can't I shudder to think what it's gonna be like now. Okay, so there's a coin back here, right next to the speed boost, not too bad. Bet you we'll have to go into the well for one of them. Going all the way over there, okay. Coin over there, let's grab all those bananas. Alright. None of the coins look like they're in that difficult of a position. I think it, once again it'll be down to beating the AI. That's the toughest part of the challenge. Aha! Knew it! I knew it! That's supposed to be a shortcut, and yet... Wow. That magnet power actually kind of came in handy. I mean, I missed one of the silver coins as a result, but what you gonna do? Oh, that is just... E what? There's one over there. Oh, that's evil. Why would they do that? Oh, I know why they didn't do that. Challenge! Is that loud enough tapping for y'all? <laughs> Alright, we're doing this lap one. We're getting this one lap one. Uh -oh. Okay, we're all still bunched up together, so that's good. We're not too far behind. Ouch. Only missing one coin. And it's a, it was right over there. Okay, cool. I can focus on just getting to the end. We didn't even have to take the alternate tunnel in here. Darn it, I keep missing these speed, the zippers, though. Oh, Diddy Kong has a stupid lead. Take that, TT. I do. Oh, I don't think there's any beating Diddy Kong. No, nah, there's no beating Diddy Kong. Okay. Focusing on the bananas seems like a good starting point. We should try to avoid going off-road as much as I can. Even though Pipsy don't get affected by it that much, she still does slow down. Okay. That time that coin wasn't so bad. I'd be super screwed if I weren't Pipsy, though. Sorry, Banjo. I bear you no ill will. I just gotta get him first. Cool. All right. We juicin' and we have all the coins, and it's only lap two. Whoa. Um. 
that was magic. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. All oh, those sweet zippers. Move it, TT. Oh, I can see Diddy Kong! Hi, Diddy. For once, tip or for once, uh, TT is not my main competition on this course, or on when I'm Pipsy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Feel that power! The power of the mouse! Congratulations, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> right into the bubble. <laughs> Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, <laughs> we got a hovercraft course and we got a plane course. Conquer. Let's go to Conquer. Conquer needs some love, too. Hello, friend. Select your Why does the game lag so much anytime you honk for the genie They're right there? I don't get it. All right, let's try Boulder Canyon. Boulder Canyon. All right, Boulder Canyon as Conquer should be interesting. Conquer's got his life jacket, so worst case scenario, he'll be okay. He ain't gonna drown. All right, I definitely expected a silver coin right over there. There better not be one at the top of the drawbridge. That would be that would just be not fun. No, I wanted that silver coin. Oh, hey, sp thank you, silver coin. Diddy, can I help you find the ball? <laughs> All right. Still three silver coins left. I know where one of them is. I have a hunch where another one is. Darn it. I keep trying to raise the drawbridge. Yep, there's one. The same one will be in the tunnel I didn't take on lap one, and the other one is right outside this tunnel. I'm guessing. Or I could be incorrect. Okay, so there's still one silver coin unaccounted for. No! Stupid logs! Stupid logs! That's karma for me making fun of Diddy Cone having the same problem last lap. Alright, where's that blasted last silver coin? I bet it, maybe it's... Oh, hang on, it might be below the drawbridge. That's exactly where it is. Okay, well I know where they all are now. Get ready! No! <laughs> Alright, guess I'm not getting that silver coin this lap. Um, there's no way I should be in last place. I made the drawbridge go up. Everyone behind me should have falling in the drink as well. Just saying. Really? Man, those logs suck! Of 
Okay, the AI are going out of their way to smash into the logs to make them go haywire. That's not fun. That's not cool, guys. Gosh, I'm so slow. Log, you're not pushing. Ugh. Oh, I hate hovercraft controls. Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way I can win this. Wait, I just changed to conquer. Conquer's bad. Don't use conquer. We're using crunch for this level. How about a little slower, Taj? Again, I don't plan on breaking out drumstick unless I have to. And definitely, it go, that goes double for TT. TT is just like playing on easy mode. And that's not the point of Adventure 2. But my man, Crunch, you are really bad at turning in a car. <laughs> Alright, Silver Coins, Boulder Canyon. I know where they all are. Honestly, my biggest fret on this level isn't even the AI. My biggest fret on this level are the logs. <laughs> Alright, guess we're not getting that silver coin this lap. Hovercraft has a mind of its own. Oh, come on! So I'm not getting that silver coin this lap either. Must feel I I know this isn't true, but it really feels like the game lag only affects my racer and not the others. Uh, uh, uh. Timber. What the heck? Why is it every race it's like, oh, Diddy Kong has an unbeatable lead? Like, look at that disgusting lead Diddy Kong has. What has he even done? Nothing. Life has just handed him the victory, basically. Like, look at that. How can you catch him? I know Crunch... Okay. Crunch is not good, but he's good in a hovercraft. That's why I picked him. Okay. There are a significantly higher amount of homing missiles in <laughs> in Adventure 2 than there is in Adventure 1. Especially on the Silver Coin Challenges. Wait, what happened to my boost? I grabbed the second boost. Oh, and of course TT's my main copy, because why not? Did I hit TT in the tunnel? If so, I, if so, I take the title Sharpshooter. Wow. Alright. This is going much better than the last attempt, few attempts. Alright. This, that, that's the coin that's problematic. It takes so hard to get that without slowing down massively. Move a drumstick. Oh, yes! 
Oh, yes! Things are looking up! No. No. I will not be screwed over by a stupid RNG log. I actually don't know if the logs are RNG. Their physics sure feel like RNG, though. Freaking logs, man. There we go! <laughs> the crunch finishes the race by a smashing into a log. I expect nothing less. Alright, we need a good pilot for windmill planes. Alright, I didn't really give Conker enough of a chance. He failed at Boulder Canyon, then I'm gonna get out of here, Conker. Hello, friend. Select you. Abracadabra. Come on, you know. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell I'm playing on the native N64, you can by the amount of lag. My, my, my computer is good enough to like emulate things like Ocarina of Time without any real trouble, but... In a game like this, where you, you really do need to run it at a decent frame rate... Uh, that might be a little more difficult. Haven't tried it, but it might be a bit more difficult. Okay, this course could, will probably suck, because I barely beat this course just regularly. And silver coins is harder, AI and silver coins to collect. Also a lot of out-of-the-way places for us to have to go, most likely. Oh, I saw a silver coin behind that weird living haystack. Silver coin there. Is there a silver coin in near the waterfall? There's not. That's weird. There was one there in Adventure Mode 1. That was one of the most annoying parts of the level. Okay. They're hiding the silver coins now. Because I have not... Oh, there's one. Ooh. Okay, there's a silver coin to the left right there. Gotta remember that for lap free. Yep, there's one behind that haystack. Okay, there's one back here. That's easy. Way to home in. Oh, why is TT always my freaking competition? I hate it. I highly doubt. No, look at the TT's lead. There's probably no beating him. Nope. Well, I know where the coins are now. shouldn't be neglected. <laughs> I really shouldn't be neglecting the bananas for so long, because the bananas are really going to help me keep a consistent speed and help be a long-term investment. Sometimes it feels like every time I use a power-up, I get hit by a missile. At least every power-up that's not a boost. It's like, oh, did you drop an oil slick? Stop polluting the planet. Boom. Instant retribution. Oh. 
And if it's not TT, it's freaking Drumstick or Diddy. Diddy, Drumstick, and TT. They are the three main antagonists who are constantly my main competition. Oh, I think it's at the end. Was it at the end here? Yeah. Man, this is tough. Okay. Gonna maybe ignore some of these coins at the beginning so I can grab bananas. scrape the top. There we go. Six bananas on. There we go. No! Why? Drumstick is the main competition again? Just looking at the map, it's like that red dot is there to tell you, haha, chicken time. Drumstick is the main competition? What a foul time. <laughs> oh, I love how long the boost lasts when you're in an airplane. Grab this coin here at the end. Oh wait, no, I already did that. Drumstick or Tiki, I don't really care who it was. Oh wait, Crunch is the main competition. <laughs> a surprise to be sure, but a welcome. Crunch ain't being super juiced up. Conquer. Well, at least he shouldn't be able to. Come on! Yes! Whew. Oh, banana! Yeah, I know. Yeah, the ten bananas give you the speed boost, and I, I did. I was aware that it caps after that. Woohoo! All right. Best course again! Haunted Woods. Haunted Woods. Here we go. Okay, that one at the end of the fountain there. That's gonna be interesting, bro. so hot right now. Ooh, it. <sighs> Alright, there we go. No. What the heck? Is it literally scripted so that they only fire missiles at you after you fire a power-up? Because good lord, like, the last time, several times I've... <sighs> Literally, like, 
every time I either drop a green power or shoot a red power up, it's like, oh, the enemy immediately fires a missile on the same frame. I'm halfway to becoming a... You flatter me. I have picked up a lot of tips from the speedrunning community here. I watched the most recent one, I think, at AGDQ. Oh my, it was insane. Like, they beat all the courses without basically ever touching the ground. It was nuts. Like, compare how I'm playing now to, to what, how I played when I Let's Play this. There's no comparison. I, I never use this, uh, the skid boost. Move it, Banjo! It's always drumstick in first! I'm so sick of this. Aw, oh, rats. Select TT. I'm not selecting... I'm not selecting TT. I feel like that's cheating too much. Maybe... Maybe I'll pick TT for the future Funland trophy race. Maybe I'll do that. TT just breaks the game too much. It's way too fast. You have to understand, my favorite character in this game is Pipsy, and she's the slowest. <laughs> Maybe he tells you a bit about my playstyle. If I fail at this again, I'm switching over to Pipsy. Switching over to Pipsy. Ow. Ooh, my cramp my hand cramps. Oof. I feel like you're I, I just feel like no matter what racing game you do, you're going to get tier lists for the characters or the vehicles. It's very hard to balance it while giving all the characters different stats. And I feel like Diddy Calm Racing actually does a pretty good job mainly with having these three different vehicles. Or like I, I know TT's obviously just the end-all be-all best, because he was designed to be that way, and Drumstick's close second, but, like, Pipsy. She sucks in a plane and a, in a hovercraft, but she's, well, I know, in the high-level play, she's not unbeatable in the car, but, like, uh, in casual play, she's kind of unbeatable in the car. <laughs> so there, there are kind of checks and balances in this game, which I do really appreciate. Yikes. Okay. This is actually not going as smooth sailing as I thought it was going to. We are now in go mode, though, so... Let's go! Ouch. Banjo. I swear those that rainbow balloon always kind of screws me over when I use it. Tip top. Tip top was the competition that he wins. Why no TT? Like I said before, I feel like using TT is cheating. Technically speaking, this is kind of a continuation of my Let's Play from years ago, and I didn't unlock TT in my Let's Play. We just have him because my family's unlocked him a long time ago. It's not easy. Oh, come on, really. Ah! 
Uh, I know. Still don't understand why sometimes you skip out and sometimes you don't. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go fast. Alright, it's Tip Top. Tip Top is the main competition. We can do this. Seriously! Every freaking time I shoot a missile, it's like someone behind me just magically gets a homing missile and shoots it. Like... Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> Can we keep having Tip Top be the main competition? I like that. Oh. Look at that, like, Pipsy was actually able to correct that disastrous turn. No other character would have been able to do that. Not even Tip Top. Oh, come off it! Seriously, what is with the game's obsession with putting Drumstick as the main competition? We have never had Pipsy... I know, I'm Pipsy. We've never had Pipsy or Conker... Or, I think... Actually, I think Bumper was the main competition, like, literally once. But seriously, it, it's Diddy, TT, or Drumstick. And then there was, like, the one time where it was tipped up. And the one time where it was, like, bumper. And the one time where... It... We haven't had Timber be the main competition ever. I literally forgot Timber was even in this game. Even though it's his island. I can't believe I'm losing this much on Haunted Woods. I normally dominate on it. I don't know how I got the coin but missed the zipper. Like, the, it's on top of the zipper. Alright, but this looks good. This looks good! This looks good! Yes! You know, I don't even mind spending that long on that course. Such a good course. Such a good course. Alright, no way Pipsy's doing round two against Smokey, though. No way. We're breaking out our boy Diddy. <laughs> We're saving the best for last? I'm Diddy! Not really. But Diddy's pretty average. Hello. Select Abracadabra. Alright, here we go. Whee! Dragon Forest. I'm not sure. I don't think that would actually be faster doing the snake back and forth. If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. I'm gonna hold you to that, Smokey. All right, how many attempts will Smokey Two take me? I guess it will take me two or three. Depends on how wild his fireballs are. I remember his fireballs being pretty wild. Yep. Eee! Wow. That wrecked me. I ain't going for that anymore. Yep. Okay. Ugh. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. 
Oh, yeah. Smokey ain't messing around. Smokey, you're, about to, you're gonna burn the whole forest down. Smokey the bear would not approve. Ouch. Ow, wow. There are just fireballs freaking everywhere. Alright, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I swear those fireballs kind of suck you in. They don't. They, they don't. I'm just racing really badly. <laughs> okay, I would I did not touch the fireball there. That's bogus. Windmill doesn't look like it's as dangerous on the second race as it was on the first. The problem is, Smokey gets really tough when you're, like, right behind him like this, because you have no idea where his fireballs are going. But, yes, okay. The rest of the race should be pretty straightforward now. Much like Bubbler, once you get in first, there's not a lot he can do. Oh, come on! I phased through it on the other laps. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. What? No! No! No, I've come so far. No! Ah! Oh, he's right on my tail! Yeah! <laughs> Something out of an action movie. Fire's right behind me, breathing fire in my direction. Fire's by the dragon's right behind me. Yoink! Thank goodness that counted as the finish. <laughs> I would not have been surprised if I knocked it and then or not if I hit it and then it knocked me back. Excellent. You have earned a piece of the amulet. Now Thanks. Try the trophy challenge. Goodbye. <laughs> that wasn't sinister at all. <laughs> Goodbye. Congratulations, you now have all four pieces of the amulet! You are worthy of facing Whizpig! Good luck! You'll need it. <laughs> ah, I love I love the cheesy voice talent in this game. It's it's fantastic. Alright, well I can't think of any better person to take on Whizpig with than Diddy Kong. Actually, Pipsy would be better, but oh well. <laughs> So that used to be a rock pig face. Is it now, like, actually alive, or is it, like, just a magic spell? I'm very confused as to how the lore of this works. I'm missing one balloon? I thought I found all of the overworld balloons. Maybe not. I, f I have... Oh, that's right. I forgot... I always forget about the one back here. Good catch, yeah. There we go, 39 balloons. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oink, oink, time for Whiz Pig. Very fun boss. Very difficult. Truer words have never been spoken. No matter how many times I play it, that cutscene always gives me the chills. Alright, Whiz Pig 1. 
Maybe this is a controversial opinion. I personally think Wispig 1 is a lot easier than Wispig 2. Not the common perception, but... Wispig 1, as long as you're good at hitting the zippers, which I am clearly not, it's not too bad. Although, remembering where all these are on mirror mode is going to be... The mere fact that this is a car race so you can do the tap A trick makes it a lot easier for me than the Wispig 2. Wispig 2, you just got you got stuff mo moving everywhere and stuff shooting at you constantly. It's such a pain. Oh nope. That's not good. Oof. <laughs> Love how we have to see the lightning flash every time we get this. <laughs> oh, wow, I just bounced out of the water. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, girl. Man, that Wispig music is epic. Darn it! Ugh. Okay, I need to stop using the skid button. Alright, huh? I'll keep this up, but eventually if I keep failing at this, I'm going to my girl, my go-to Pipsy. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to use the skid button. I think it's hurting me more than it's helping me. What the? It's not nice, Moomoo's Pig. You can't just kick someone off the cliff. I play by my rules! Okay, now we're going to my girl, Pipsy. Steady Kong Racing! They keep accidentally selecting Adventure 1. <laughs> Wanna go Adventure 2? Hello, friend. Select your Abracadabra. Come on, you know. Now, Pipsy will have better control of her vehicle, which is nice, but she's also slower, so Wispig might kick me a little more. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Giant pig who can fly versus tiny little mouse in a wind-up car. Who would win? Pig's gonna try his darnest. This is another course that I would have liked in multiplayer. The Wiz Pig Dome. Oh no! That was so close! <laughs> I almost made it back up. Almost made it back up. <laughs> almost, these don't count though. Alright, let's pick it. Ah, no. Glob, glob. This race is annoying that if you make a mistake, you kind of have to reset, but the stage is also very short. It's also just a, a, a circle. Most of what's throwing me off is just the fact that it's mirrored. I'm used to this course not mirrored. Boom! boom. Also, I'm, I am very stupid, so... 
yeah, like that. I can't, like, I know the next zipper is on that side, but I'm just like, wee wee! <laughs> I'm emphasizing speed more than actually going the right way. Alright, Hardy. After this next zipper, the one is on the right, so don't go crazy. Okay, that one's not too bad at minus half. Although it does make the next zipper less effective. Joink! I do think Wispig is probably the toughest boss in any racing game. No, no, not again! <laughs> Although, although some of those bosses in Crash Team Racing were tough as well. But not for the right reasons. They were tough because it's like, oh wow, they're incredibly fast, and they just chuck infinite power-ups at you, back at you to mess you up. Okay, yeah, this is totally fair. This one is just like, it's definitely a hard race, but every time I fail the race, I, I know it's my fault that I failed the race. It never feels like, wow, the game screwed me over. It just feels like, I'm like, okay, I didn't race very well. The second was Pig Race on Really? <laughs> and every time you fail, Wiz Pig laughs in your face. No. He keeps trying to kick me off a cliff there. It's not a nice thing to do, Wiz Pig. on it. Uh, yep. I got a new plan. For that one zipper that keeps sending me haywire, I'm not going to get the green boost off of it. I'm only going to get the purple boost. That might actually be the, the ideal strat, because it'll give me enough speed to get over it, but it won't give me so much speed that I can't hit the next zipper. Yeah, so this one... Yeah, just the purple boost. That's... Yeah, that's the key. Ah, there we go. Yeah! Who would have thought that sometimes not doing the optimum strat is actually the optimum strat? See? Not too hard. Take that, Wizpig. <laughs> Wizpig has magical powers. He literally just teleported. Oh yeah, but now we have to do all four of the trophy races before we can go off to future fun land. <laughs> Let's party! Let's party! Yes! <laughs> Aw. Adorable. Ah, oh, that good old stock laughter. Gotta love it. What, so what's there to do at this party? Besides run around? Is there, like, food? Or games? Nope. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? This pig is, like, almost the same size as a lighthouse. Like, how is this pig this freakishly huge? And where did he learn these magical powers? 
must have more Whispig lore. Why does he hate these kids so much? <laughs> Dude, you're a genie. You can't, like, do anything to stop him. <laughs> I guess that's true. You can do a lot with Sam. Wow, he's, he's trying to murder these children because they beat him in a race. And they say Ridley is the darkest uh, Nintendo villain. <laughs> I need Diddy Kong Racing 2 with more Whispig lore. Make it happen, Nintendo. Or just put Diddy Kong back in Mario Kart. That's also a good option. <laughs> that was his previous occupation. What's up, Shaggy? <laughs> nice to see ya. Don't mind me, I'm just prepping a little for Mario Kart tonight. By playing a very different racing game. Aw, oh, yeah. This is such a good game. Ah, David Wise. Thank you for such a great soundtrack. And G Norgate for all the sound effects. <laughs> also! <laughs> M. Wakely also did some additional design. Don't forget. Oh man, Dark Moon Caverns music is such so good. Oh yeah, all the character voices! Oh, Evelyn Fisher voiced some of the characters? Nice. She also did the Donkey Kong Country Free soundtrack. Jo Wait, Jay Williams? Surely that's not John Williams. Not the same John Williams, anyways. Do, 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 do. Oh, thanks, Clob. <laughs> Great name. Oh, the question, though, is, who do we use for the trophy races? I will I will use TT for the future Funland trophy race. I think that will be fair, because that one is ridiculously difficult. Eh, well, we'll see, actually. We'll see. <laughs> I could use Pipsy, but here's the thing. There's no trophy race where all four races are car races, so... Maybe I'll use Pipsy for, like, the first one. Or no, I'll use Pipsy for the, Sh the Sherman Island one. Because there's only one plane course, and Pepsi can do decently okay in a plane, I guess. Executive producer speaking. The end? Anytime there's a question mark at the end, you know it's not the end. Two-player adventure. Joint venture. Oh, I've never tried that. Can you both collect the silver coins? So, like, some people get one and some people get the other? That could be interesting. Oh, I should have played through the whole game with the Arnold cheat code, which makes everyone huge. <laughs> Arnold. Alright. Well, for the trophy races, let's see. Oh. Timber's a good choice. Alright, well, we'll start with Dino Domain. Trophy races or the AI get kicked up into overdrive. Get it. It's a car pun. <laughs> trophy race. We'll enter the trophy race. Easy peasy. Well, not easy peasy. Tro trophy races are actually quite difficult. Oh, hey, it's Pipsy. Is Pipsy going to be my main competition? If so, I'm a little scared. I must confess, Pipsy is uh, quite a menace in a car. Ha! Oh, what a shot. Well, I mean, first race, obviously, it's gonna be easy. 
Oh no! Timber was too fat to hit the power up. Try to figure that out. Woohoo! I do love me some Timber. He's a very consistent racer. Plus, he's a cat, so that definitely helps his popularity. <laughs> I shot a pterodactyl! Only in Diddy Cone Racing, folks. Mario Kart has nothing on this. Can you shoot a pterodactyl in Mario Kart? I don't think so. Darn it. Missed the zipper. What ho? Why is TT behind me? I thought Pipsy was going to be my main competition. Are they like, oh no! He won the first race. We better make the, the, the OP character his main competition. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> Not sure how that worked. <laughs> All I know is TT is right behind me. But not for long. Hi, pterodactyl. Power up. Did I just drop two bubbles, or was that a graphical glitch? <laughs> All right. Jungle falls. Hey, what happened to Pipsy? I thought she was in third place, but she won, like, six or something. I didn't hit the zipper. Oh. This is one of the few courses that actually has kind of a lot of shield power-ups. It's interesting. No! No, not like this. Wow, I had that big of a lead that that still wasn't even a setback. Wow. Owned! Probably shouldn't be this proud of dominating Dino Domain's trophy race. Just drive right into the nacho cheese. That's a good idea. Oh, what's that? It's lava, you say? Then why does it look like this? <laughs> oh yes, I, I do like taking wins, but I like taking well-earned wins. Like, if I win in Mario Kart just because a blue shell hit the first place or in the last second, that doesn't feel like a very just victory. Wow. There's no way Pipsy should be going this fast in a plane, by the way. I don't care how many bananas she has. Like, I'm boosting basically constantly, and yet she's still ahead. And this is Pipsy. In a plane. 
Move it! <laughs> Serves you right, you mouse. Why, yes, that is my Golden Whiz Pig statue. <laughs> I think I'll use Timber for the Dragon Forest one as well. Oh. Eat it, Pipsy. It's okay, I, I love you, Pipsy. I'm gonna be using you for at least one of these other trophy races, but... Aruga! Alright, off to Dragon Forest. I think we'll use... Probably Banjo for the Sherbet Island one, and Pipsy for the Snowflake Mountain. Then maybe TT for the Future Funland one. Or Drumstick. Maybe we'll use Drumstick for the Future Fun. I would be okay with that. Trophy race. Trophy race. Boulder Canyon. It's kind of weird that they start with Boulder Canyon, even though in terms of balloons, Boulder Canyon comes first in the Dragon Forest, not the first. They fixed that in the DS version. Yes, there was a DS port of Diddy Kong Racing. Yes, I played it. No, it is not as good as the N64 one, but yes, it is still fun. The DS one tried a lot of interesting stuff. Like, you could make your own courses, but it was extremely limited. It was like, draw the course with the stylus. But you couldn't choose, like, when it goes up or down. You can't choose the background. It's just, it was always a cloud background. It was... Interesting. They did have a new cup, though. They had the banana cup. With a bunch of jump courses. It was fun. <laughs> you could record... You could use the DS microphone to record voice clips for, like, basically any situation. It's like, did you fire a power-up? Voice clip. Did you pass somebody? Voice clip. Did someone pass you? Voice clip. It got very obnoxious, but also it was great. I don't know if it's faster to take that or not because of the time it takes for the boost to actually go off. Oof! Everyone's right on my tail! And I like my tail. Whee! No, no. No, no, no. Oh, thank you, Diddy! <laughs> Many thanks, kind neighbor! <laughs> Diddy, what a chad. Helping people in need. That's a friend indeed, I would say. <laughs> Thanks, Diddy! <laughs> oh, hey, Diddy won third. Pipsy won second? Impossible. It was a hovercraft level. Move, everybody. Timp coming through. Rawr. So, again, I think it's best to focus on bananas. Oh, come off it. It is shockingly easy to miss the zippers, even though you are right on top of them. No, I must say, I'm not a fan of that. Alright, we got some work to do. Why does everybody constantly put a bubble there on this race? How do they always have a bubble right at that point? How do I keep missing that freaking zipper? I feel like I'm not even racing badly, I just... Wow. Finally I can hit a zipper, good lord. There's a bubble there again! Good lord! What is with their obsession of putting bubbles on that spot? Wow. 
How does Diddy have that big of a... Like, how? Just freaking how? Diddy's not faster than I am. How do I keep missing these zippers? Alright, well... It's a good thing Diddy only won third on that first race. I can still pass him in the end. But it's now an uphill battle. Oh yes, I am willing to go out of my way for boosts in an airport level. Oh, come on! I don't want this. Anytime I drop a green power-up, I get shot. Why? Okay. You know, maybe that'll actually work out. <laughs> I got two blue power-ups this way. Crunch and TT are in first and second. Okay. They were not even close to being my main competition, so I am happy with this. Alright! TT, that was a jerk butt move. How dare you? Shot to you. Oh, come on with these missiles. Another red power up up ahead. I grab it. Crunch, don't be a button, grab it. You paid the price, Crunch. You paid the price. I warned you. Alright. If I beat Diddy on this race, then we win. That magnet saved me or almost ruined me. So the homing missile's not having good homing skills. No, Diddy. Get out of my way. Drumstick, you Son of a crud butt! Get out of my face! I'm beating Diddy. I'm not redoing this trophy race. If you get in my way, drumstick, I will shoot you down. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Drumstick tried his absolute best to make sure I didn't win, but... Too good. Whew. Nice job, Timber. That Greenwood Village almost screwed us up. Alright. Now we'll go to Sherbet Island. Banjo just seems to be doing pretty well at all of the Sherbet Island stages. <laughs> Collusion between... I, I, yeah, I, I think they were like, hey, let's make sure he loses, and then we split the prize. Like, how do you split the prize? It's a single trophy. 
I'm sure they'll think of something. Whee! All right, Sherbet Island Trophy Race. Here we go. A lot of hovercraft, which is why I picked Banjo. Trophy race. Whale Bay. Whale Bay. Actually, this cup might worry me a little bit more than the last one. Because the courses in this are actually very simple, which makes it the competition very tough, actually. <laughs> Should we get a jump off? Kind of. Bumper? Bumper? Also, well, how's Bumper trying to run me off the road? I'm Banjo. I guess he's a bear too. Wait, badgers aren't bears. Okay, why is this. Sometimes you can just get a very clean jump up there, and sometimes it's like, nope, you're bouncing up and down like a doll. Why is TT right behind me? What happened to Bumper? Wait, but Bumper once. Oh, Bumper must have been, like, right on top of me. That's good. I'm glad TT's not the one one second. <laughs> that would have been really annoying. <laughs> so, has TT been in, like, literally every race since in Adventure 2? It sure feels like it. <laughs> we smashed into the wall, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> Banjo's faced far worse in his journeys. Yeet. Move it, TT. Banjo, stop boosting right into the wall. Good lord, I wasn't even aiming at the wall. That's the hovercraft races down. Good. Christmas Island. All right, this is the toughie. This is the one I'm worried about. I think I think this one was the hardest silver coin challenge. Well, with the AI and the location of the silver coins, it was all very difficult. Lap two. Cool. We have a little bit of a lead. TT is right on our butts. All right, that's a nice lead. I'm not even going to risk the shortcut at the end there. It's way too risky with someone like Banjo. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. That was a slaughter. Cool. I think we have this in the bag. Time for treasure caves. It's gonna be fun. Zooks! <laughs> Alright, we juiced up. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I missed a zipper when I hit right on top of it. Oh no! Oh no! Not in the green gloop! Not in the green gloop! Not like this! Not like this! Whoosh! Easy. All right, that was actually a lot easier than the Dragon Forest trophy race. Do 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 do. Banjo Kazooie won the Whispic Trophy! Woo! Alright. Pepsi time. Not Adventure 1, Adventure 2. I wish- why- why does it always default you to the car? Like, why would you ever want to be in the car in the overworld rather than the plane? The car can barely go anywhere, and the plane can go everywhere. <laughs> Never understood that. Trophy race! Alright, saving the hardest or first. Actually, hardest will probably be Snowball Valley, but... Plane race for Pipsy is gonna be tricky. Oh look! What a shocker! TT looks like to be he's our main competition! Why would I expect anything else? I am astonished that the speedrunners can do this with basically without ever holding the A button. This this race. Because <laughs> every time you get a boost, you can release the A button for a long time. Get that sweet, sweet boost power. Oh no! It's okay, if TT tries passing me, he gonna be in for it. <laughs> Well done, Pipsy. That was far beyond my wildest dreams for you in the plane. Well, rest of it should be relative smooth sailing. I would advise you to stay back. Oh, is that is that ten bananas already? Oh, grand. Wow, 
Why would you get a shield power-up at the beginning there? Like, what would you shield it from? Granted, sometimes I have a hard time even grabbing a power-up because I'm bouncing all over the place. in the loop is in the guy who's competing for second place right now. Oh no. He's trying to get a boost upgrade. Finish. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, this one might be a little trickier. The short and chaotic stage. Excuse me, I'm using the tap A trick. You should not be able to keep up with me. And you're Diddy Cone. You're not even one of the main competition. Like, I call bull on that. Also, wow. The, the, whole, <laughs> the missiles do not work well on that part of the course. Catch this, you clock. Finish. Get out of here. Frosty Village. Ah, yes, Frosty Village. Christmas Town. Let's see if I can get as decisive a victory now on this one as I did when I first played this. Whoa! <laughs> Mommy, I saw Santa's sleigh! No, dear, that was just Pipsy. Aww. <laughs> oh. That was nuts. What the heck was that? <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Wait, let's try that again. Oh. It was the combination of the boost power up and the zipper on the floor. Just gave me such a rocket boost. out of the free zippers there. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> oh man. This time, if I had used the boost a little earlier, I think it would have triggered the zapper as well. With the zipper. The AI I don't know how to race on this course. <laughs> oh no! Well, it's a good thing I have such a huge lead. Merry Christmas! Alright, there we go! We can go to Future Funland now. Yeah, we're going... <laughs> this is a lot later than I normally stream on Saturday, but I don't care, we're going all the way. Come this far, and also, I'm not tired of streaming this. So, I think mainly, generally, if I like stream like visual novels on Saturday, those I can't do for as long, partly because they generally are uncomfortable, and also because there's a lot more talking involved with that. Whereas here, it's more about the gameplay. Shh. <laughs> 
Thanks for the clip, Nintendo Attic. Oh yeah, we're off to space! This, this world does a great job of making a world that's really difficult, but is also fun. Well, to a certain extent. Every course is pretty fun, but every course has problem things that I take issue with. Except for Star City, that course is just amazing. Not sure why there are palm trees in it, um, outer space, but okay. Any level that involves the UFO shooting at you, I kind of take issue with a little bit. Oh, that is not how it goes in mirror mode. Ooh! Wow, I got a handsome lead. Normally I just have an ugly lead. I, my instinct is always to turn right there, because that's how it is in the, in the regular adventure mode. Whoa. That was weird. Oh my gosh, that lead. Man, the AI really, because I'm used to the trophy races, the AI really gets toned down for the just generic races. Wow, I am shocked that that was that easy. Shocked. <laughs> Granted, I am much better at flying the plane now than I was <laughs> a long time ago. But still, AI sucked on that course. This is for you. This is for you. Mmm, another disco ball. Lovely. Alright, time for Dark Moon Caverns. Ah, this will be a glorious level. This one is crazy difficult, but also crazy awesome. The Ascending Pillar Disco. That's a reference. Uh-oh. I almost spun out there. I will also say, this is not my favorite music in the game, but it's doggone close. Darkman Caverns has epic music. It's got the not just one loop. It's got the double loop to loop. This is also one of those courses where it's like, if you're not Pipsy, uh... Good luck. In case you can tell, there's a lot of, um... Winding turns on this course. Ouch. Okay, I object. There's no way Crunch in any reality would be doing this well on this course. <laughs> Crunch like, physically can't play this course. This turning is so bad. Um, what? That is not the way that Crunch was. I freaking hate the magnet power-up. It never works out. Even when it actually works on the thing in front of you, you always end up hitting something. Seriously, what the heck was that? <laughs> I don't think it's Taz Crunch. I just think it's 
AI manipulated crunch where the AI has boosted his stats so that he can make impossible turns that would be impossible if you were playing this crunch. Man, they just freaking love hitting me with missiles. That seriously, that one magnet balloon, I think, screwed up my entire race. It brought me so far backwards. Seriously, the magnet balloon brings you backwards. Oh no. -uh. That ain't what I signed up for. Let's try this again. Maybe the winding turns just kind of mess up the homing on the, the magnet balloons, but if that's the case, just don't put it on the level. Like, the magnet balloons are already probably my least favorite power-ups anyways, so we don't really need them. It's all about the boost power-ups anyways. Or I guess if you're in second place, then the red power, the red balloons can be better. Finally, took that zipper. Took us long enough. Alright, here we go. Whee! Jetson, you're fired! <laughs> That's weird. I could have sworn I heard something. Just there. First place. Ouch. How many grenades were placed there? <laughs> I hit one, but then there was uh, still another. Hello there. This is for you. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right. Time for the toughest course in the game. Of course, I simultaneously love and hate... Spaceport Alpha. Spaceport Alpha. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Super good music. Not a huge fan of the course. Having said that, if they want to put this course in a Mario Kart game, please do. Wow, why do the homing missiles just not work for me? Outside of the battle games. Oh, I guess this is another race where the um, shield power-ups can come in handy for against the Death Star Trench. behind me with the shield. I do not appreciate that. This course is really cool visuals, though. Actually, now that, I, now that I'm grown and I can look at it objectively, I, I think actually Greenwood Village is the toughest course in the game. This is second. Actually, I'll let you know after the Silver Coin Challenge. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Tip Top is right behind me. Alright, cool. Whew. Damn! <laughs> Love the N64 symbols on the wall. Hello, I would like my prize, please. This is for you. Why, thank you. I really appreciate it, Mr. Taj. We're gonna have such a disco rave after this. Alright, Star City, the last course, and... Easily one of my favorites. Star but I think, once again, the mirror mode is going to really screw me over on this course. Once we get to the actual city. Hey look, it's the Epcot ball. Actually, never mind. I forgot that there were signs telling you which direction the turns were going. Well, at least some of the time. Alright, Diddy. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of Pipsy? variety of it. Like, you start out in, like, a weird rainbow crater, then you go to a monorail station, into the Epcot ball, and then you're in a city. It's, ugh. It's gorgeous. Someone really tried to get the, pull the wool over my eyes with that one. With that grenade. Man, grenades everywhere. Y'all are gonna need better power-ups than that to stop Pipsy. Yes! Alright, just four silver coin challenges left, then we have Whiz Pig and the... <laughs> and the final trophy race. Mmm, boy! Out of the remaining veins, my the one I'm most worried about is I honestly final Whiz Pig. He is nasty. Alright, Space Dust Alley. Silver coins. Well, we kicked butt on just the regular race, so maybe we can keep it up. So then I think we'll focus on grabbing bananas. I'm not using rainbow balloons anymore. Come on, I wanted that. Darn it, every time! <laughs> Turn right to go left. I I literally I literally hit nothing. There was nothing there. Maybe I'm blind, but it really didn't look like there was anything there. Oh, there's a silver... That's a fun place for it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Power 
There's still one coin, though, out there that I'm not entirely sure where it is. If I had to guess, it would be off to this side somewhere. Where's the last coin? Crunch, you were so annoying. Oh, nope, that's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Behind one of the electric weight? Maybe. Banjo? No. Oh, no. That's no. Oh, thank you, Crunch. Your attempts to constantly get in my way are actually helping me out. Is it down here? No, it's not. Shaggy said it was behind one. Oh, there it is. Okay, I missed that. I thought it was at the bottom tunnel. Because I couldn't remember if I had ever taken that way. Alright, this, this is doable. This is very doable. Dang, you have a sharp eye if you were able to spot that. Whoop! Yeep! That is not what I said to do, Pipsy, you little butt. I was said to do the side somersaults. Yeah. Please keep hitting the electric fences, I appreciate that. Alright, Diddy, you're, you're overstaying, you're welcome. You're not welcome here. A 
pretty decent lead. Well, not really. Diddy's right behind me. But that's okay. We're in first, which means we get first grab at our power-ups. And the boost pins. Every time... Why do I always just, I'm like, turn right into the wall? There we go. All right. I expected that to be one of the easier silver coin challenges. It still might be. All right, Dark Moon Caverns. This one might be tricky. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one will be tricky, not it might be. But Pipsy will make it a good deal easier. Alright, so far so good. Not using that power up again. That's not happening. <laughs> that lag, though. That lag! Oh, wow, are you... <laughs> Way to test through that, Conker. Did you see that? He deployed the shield the frame I touched him. Alright. Mm. Where is that last coin? Oh, wait, I saw it back there. Oh, okay. cute on the left side in that tunnel. Alright. Everyone is, like, alright grouped up next to each other. I don't want to have the ram go balloon power up. No, I don't. I'm actually very surprised that I didn't get shot there. Okay, it's on the left side in this tunnel. There it is. All right, first try, Dark Moon Caverns. Nice. All right. Will this be the toughest silver coin challenge in the game? Very well could be. Because there are generally some evil ones in the Death Star Trench. Which means you're going to get shot a lot. So that one's just a freebie. Aha! Thought there might be one over here. Alright, so there's one right there. One up there and one... Okay, so they're free in the Death Star Trench, from what I can see. I think if I just use the shield power-ups properly, I don't think it'll actually be all that difficult. Once again, I think the main problem will be just winning the race, because the AI are on steroids here. Um, I definitely did not hit anything there. Oh, and of course, TT's the main competition, and of course, he's just... has a disgusting lead.
pick up some bananas. No, I never... Why do you always do the summer... I never, ever want you to do the somersault. Ever. Alright. Is that Tip Top in first place? How is he going that fast? He is only the tiniest bit faster than Pipsy, and I have almost ten uh, bananas. I have 10 minutes. Wow, getting shot in the ditch was only like a slap on the wrist for him. He's just like, oh, that's a fun. I got this. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Unacceptable. Wait, what? I was not even close to touching that bullet. Alright, well, still won. I was afraid that it overriding my boost power up would have screwed me over. No, okay, that wasn't actually too bad. Alright, Star City, last silver coin challenge. Star City. And then it's off to the Pig of Wiz. I bet you that actually this silver coin challenge could be nasty. There might be silver coins at the bottom of this pit here. I, I would be astonished if there weren't. I saw the silver coin back there. Oh, actually, wait. There actually may not be. There isn't one at the bottom. Okay. Wait, what? How did I miss that? No, no, no. Going to be bested by a freaking mouse. You will be bested by a mouse. It is your destiny. Alright. Let's take it. Okay. Apparently, my shield was still active. I'll take it. right behind me. Oh! You will not steal my victory from me. First try! Star City, that was one of the easier silver coin challenges. Pristinely ungifted. Thank you so much for the raid. I love how you raided with the with the dopey celebration music right at like the most epic part of the game. Hey, welcome! How are you doing? We're just about to take on uh, Final Whiz Pig. Oh yeah, this game is amazing. I'm actually about to finish the game in one sitting on Adventure 2, which I've never done before, so that that's really cool. Unfortunately, we're at what I, I consider to be the toughest course in the game. Especially if you're Pipsy. Because, well, this course, you just get blasted by everything. 
I'm, ast I'm astonished I have not been blasted yet. Okay. If I can actually beat this first drive, Pipsy, I will be astonished. Oh no, wait, I... I needed that shield power-up. I cannot believe I got for that room without getting blasted. Alright, well, so far so good. I'm gonna try to pick up like as many boost power ups as I can, but it's this beginning segment that's just so bad. <laughs> oh, I can't hit the broad side of a barn. Power up. Power up. <laughs> Grab the shield power up. Cause yeah. Definitely want it for this one. Uh oh. If that was the last lap, I would have been dicked. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the problem. There's stuff freaking everywhere in this first room. There are asteroids, there are pillars, there's stuff shooting at you. It feels like there's. Like, I feel like I should not have been shot there, but I did. Ugh. Yeah, this course do not mess with me. No, 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 no. I think, I think that's game over. Yep, that's game over. Ah, uh, no worries, man. <laughs> See ya, please get your food. Thank you so much for the raid. Wait, why am I trying this again with Pipsy? <laughs> Pipsy's not a good choice for the airplane. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to get through this first room without getting hit by something? There's, there's no safe places. Okay, well, first off... I feel good. I'm okay with using Drumstick. I'm okay with using Drumstick. For the, uh... For the trophy race, because Drumstick is very easy to unlock after, uh... uh after beating Whizpig 1. And we should show him off. Maybe I'll use TT for final Whizpig. That actually might be fair. Oh, just drumstick, you are, uh, <laughs> driving real fast there, bud. Real fast. Future Funland. Let's do the trophy race, and then we can finish with this game. That sounds good. We're back! For once, I'm not going against drumstick. Because I have become drumstick. Feel the drumstick surging through my veins. Oh wow. Nice maneuver there, drumstick. I'm impressed. Alright, turn left up here, Artie. Not right. There we go. Man, even the brake turning is almost not enough for Drumstick, but he is very fast. And he gets amazing boosts, so... Alright, alright. We got one now. Oh my gosh, Drumstick can barely make it through this cave unscathed. Ooh, right. 
Duh. Sorry, I, I grunt when I'm concentrating. Oh wow, never mind. We have a huge lead. Hugely. Wow, drumstick is fast. No wonder that guy was saying drumstick in <laughs> No wonder drumstick from Twitch chat was saying that drumstick in the airplane was the best. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. I I still could stand for better turning, but with the brake turning, he, he's still good. Okay, that was, yeah, that was a slaughter. That was a slaughter. Drumstick is very good. Doc Moon Kevin's. Now, unfortunately, I really would have liked to have Pipsy for Dark Moon Kevin's, but. I will take Drumstick. Alright, whoever threw that is going to, be, going to pay. Gosh! Oh, this is not good. Zero, but I had bananas, and then they all got blasted out of me. Pipsy, I miss you. Pipsy, I miss you so much. Oh my gosh, this turning is real bad. Look at how disgusting of a lead that is. It's not like homing missiles can do squat back here. Bumper, you little prick! Why did I think... Wow, drumstick is so bad in the car on courses that involve turning. I'm using brake turning, by the way. And it's still bad. Like, this is disgusting. Diddy and Conker are literally on their final lap now. I ain't giving up. I'm not giving up. But my lord, this is this course is so unbearable to do with drumstick. Give me my Pipsy. Drumstick's not going on, like, perfectly straight ground. He's so bad. There are turns, or if you go... If, if, heaven forbid, you have to go uphill. My lord, he just... He stops. Drumstick, you're supposed to be, like, the heaviest character in the game, bar none. How are you not getting... How are you getting pushed around by mice? I knew I wasn't going to win second or first, but... That's okay, we're actually still in the lead, somehow. But unfortunately, we're on Star City, which probably will be bad as well. Although the turns on this level aren't nearly as bad. There are the 90 degree turns towards the end, but... Oh, that's really awful. Wait. Oh, that's real bad. I think I just lost the entire race because of that. I don't think I can recover from that. Come off it! Who left all the oil slicks behind? Who will pay for that? Trying to trip up drumstick. Come on! Can you please just hit the zipper? It's not hard to do. No. no. Oh my gosh, drumstick, stop trying to drive off the track. Tried shooting a homing missile at me, what a shocker. Okay, this is weird, because, like, the main competition on all of these courses has been different. 
There hasn't been like one competitor who's consistently won first or second. It's like it's all over the place. No! I needed that boost! <gasps> oh my gosh, that'd be Pipsy! Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh! Even though I've been sucking in this cup, I'm still in first overall by a good margin, because, like, the computer players have taken turns winning second. That never happens. Alright, just have, gotta get a decent win on Spaceport Alpha. I have faith in my man, Airplane Drumstick. Ow! Well, I have some faith in Airplane Drumstick. Oh, hey, Timber! Okay, well, that's not at all okay. Oh, I didn't want to shoot down Pipsy. Pipsy was a Pipsy's all right. I will say, Drumstick do have that speed down. He got that speed down. No! I do not say do the loop-de-loop. -loop. I say do the side somersault. Hi, Timber. You ain't faster than 10 banana peel drumstick. You just ain't. You ain't such much. No, you ain't. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, I never want to do the somersault. I always want to do the barrel roll. The barrel roll can actually increase your speed. Oh, ho, ho. Don't get in front of me. I will make you pay. Alright, and that is game! Oh, wow, he literally tried to do the somersault again. I don't know why sometimes it makes you do the somersault. But we win our Golden Whiz Pig Trophy. We didn't even come close to a perfect uh, win, but we won nonetheless. Alright. Now we need to take on Final Whiz Pig. And we ain't doing that with Drumstick. Drumstick is not even close to being good enough at turning for that. But Pipsy's not fast enough, so... I'm Diddy. It is Diddy calling racing. We should finish it off with Diddy. 47 gold... 47 silver balloons. Let's do this, Diddy. Let's do it. It's weird how the entire... Well, no, that's not weird. The, the beach is treated as off-road. Sand is indeed off-road. Future Funland. Here we go. Final Whiz Pig. I gotta find a consistent way of getting through this first room. Maybe ignore the blue balloon. Oh, well, thanks, Whizpig. That was not a consistent way of getting through the room, but he rammed me nonetheless, so... Oh, that's right. Hitting the Whizpig with missiles on this level really doesn't do anything. So, don't even bother with the red balloons. Focus all your attention on the blue balloons, and then get the shield balloon right before. Ooh. Ouch. Ugh. Okay, 
Okay, I have literally how? How the heck are you supposed to get through this unscathed? I I I literally didn't hit anything there. This This is why I consider this to be the toughest challenge in the whole game. Oh. Like this is for me this is way harder than the first place pick. First whiz pick, as long as you can drive well, like, you're good. This one, it's like, no, everything is shooting at you from every direction. The course is unfairly windy with everything blocking your way, and you can't really do anything to stop whiz pick. You just have to be insanely good at avoiding everything. Which is nearly impossible when the level is filled to the brim with stuff to stop you. I've already lost track. It feels like if you get shot once, you just can't win. And the, the the laser blasts are very... Like, look at that. I literally got shot by nothing, and yet it's still... Like, this course is really bad. Really bad. It just doesn't feel like there are any safe places. You're either going to get hit by a, one of the columns, one of the asteroids, or one of the bullets. Sometimes you just can't hit that freaking balloon. I'm using brake turn and you can't turn that fast! It's a catch-22 because, like, characters like Pipsy will have good enough turning to get for this, but they won't be fast enough to be Whispig. Characters like Drumstick will be more than fast enough to be Whizpick, but they will not be able to even come close to maneuvering for the stage, so they lose massively. It's just it's like a catch twenty two. Roughly equal speed with Whizpig, so if you're able to get a lead and continue getting the boosts and get lucky avoiding all of this, then you can beat it, but that's a big if. Yep, hit the wall. 
I, I think I lost. Oh look, I got hit by a bullet that had wonky hit detection. Still within my grasp. Such a shame. This is one of the few parts of the game that I actually, like, just detest. This is not a good finale to the game at all. I mean, if you're looking for just the most unfairly difficult challenge in the game, then sure, you're definitely here. Like, I don't know why sometimes I do exactly that and get shot, and sometimes I do exactly that and don't. At least be consistent, game. Like, one little thing touches you in this area, and you lose. Because once Wizpig gets his lead, there's not really any catching him. Because even if you shoot homing missiles at him, it will not slow him down at all. And there's no... There are, like, no straightaways to use your boosts, except in that one outdoor area. Yeah, but, like, look at that. I got shot by an invisible something. I fall down to the ground, hit a stalagmite, hit... Stop. You can't do anything. It's a stupid beginning part. But literally, this beginning part is too much. Pick the asteroids, the columns, or the gun. You pick two of them. You don't get all three. All three, it, it makes it way too unfair. Like, that bullet hits both the top and the bottom of the screen. There's no way around it. You just have to hope you get lucky and don't get hit by the hit detection. Because I'm doing the same thing every time, and sometimes I get hit by it, and sometimes I don't. It also annoys me that, like, if you touch even the tiniest little bit of, like, one of these pillars, you completely and utterly stop. I just think this is after I learned the, the way, proper way to boost with the plane that you can get way more speed out of it. And I'm still losing. I don't even dare do try the barrel roll. Because if it turns into the somersault, then I'm so screwed. Really? Like, if you get glazed by the asteroid, it just makes you completely go off trajectory. Okay, this is good. That was almost very bad. Neck and neck. No. 
Yes! Eat it, Whizpig! Even with your unfair final course, I still beat you. Did Wispick just get nuked? <laughs> Whatever, he deserves it. He deserves it for trying to beat us in a race. And for trying to kill, effectively, baby animals. Now the Wispick face turns to a golden Taj face. Is that one sentient as well? <laughs> that is a great frame rate right there. Why is Taj's face there? This is Timber's Island. The lore of the story is this is Timber's Island. Oh hey! Little Triceratops. Pipsy gets to ride! The end! What else needs to be said? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, there's more. <laughs> the stock laughter again. That's... That's funny. Oh, Timber gets to ride a dragon, okay. Who's really the king of the island? Not Taj, even though he has a giant golden statue of himself here. Yeah! Now it's time for credits to Electric Boogaloo. Oh, wait, no. It's... This guy again. <laughs> the time for Adventure Free! You race the courses backwards. <laughs> What does Wizpick have against this? He's like, ah, I really want to enslave everyone because they're bad at racing. Like, what? Now it's a, a credits to Electric Blue. And because people were a little disappointed that I didn't use him, I will use TT. I will do one race with TT. <laughs> What race would people like me to do with TT? Ideally, one in the car. Because when TT's in the car, that's when he's at his best. Same credits as the first one, just with the Crescent Island music. Sure looks like it's the same. Maybe the courses that they're showing are different. The castle level of the great music, uh, Haunted Woods? Oh, I'd, I'd love to do Haunted Woods again. This one? <laughs> yeah, that's Haunted Woods. That's, that's my favorite course. Okay, here we go. Now we see the, the new courses. Space Dust Valley. Basically, what we learned from this is that Pipsy carries the game. <laughs> It's like, Pipsy is so good. I don't care what any tier list says. Pipsy is so good. <laughs> to be continued. How? I beat Adventure 2. What else do you want from me? 
Oh, they want me to do the joint venture. Nope, sorry. I live alone. <laughs> I work alone. Oh yeah, now it lists the time trials that you need to beat in order to unlock... I'm not sure if it's unlock? I don't know if those are our current time trial records, if those are the ones you need to beat to unlock the TT time trials, or if those are the ones you need to beat to beat the TT time trial. It has to be the ones to beat the TT, or the ones that we currently have, because Treasure Cave's 55 seconds, that's a very short time. Dun, 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 dun. Boulder Camp. Oh yeah, 58 seconds haunt, haunted woods. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a pretty fast time. Can I skip this part again? I've seen it a lot. <laughs> nope, we gotta hear the stock laughter again. This is 90 cent. Dang, that's, that's a year after I was born. This is an early N64 game. I guess, no, that, that makes sense. This is the first game Banjo was in. Alright, here we go. Actually, let's go with Adventure 1. That's what I'm used to. All right. Hello, friend. Select your Abracadabra. So TT is a l kind of ridiculously good. So he's he's by far the fastest character in the entire game. You'll really start seeing that once we get ten bananas. All right. Off to Haunted Woods, and I'll show you guys TT in action. <laughs> I must say, I still do like Pipsy better, because Pipsy does have better turning, but TT is so stupidly stinking fast that, like, I mean, like, look at this. Disgusting. Like, look at the lead we have. And I've been screwing up as well. Yeah, like, it's so disgusting. <laughs> like, no, nobody can ta catch TT. N nobody. Uh, Alright, well... That, I beat Adventure 2. I'm kind of surprised that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Most of the time, it wasn't really the silver coin placement that was difficult. It was just the AI that was kind of difficult on those levels. But there we go. Beat Adventure 2 in one stream. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fantastic. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to, to show off, honestly, at this point. So I think we will end the stream there. Thank you all so much for joining in. This was tons of fun. I really enjoyed this stream. It was, this was great. It's great getting back to Diddy Kong Racing. I, I love this game. It's super, super fun. I also will be most likely doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with Shaggy tonight on his channel. So uh -oh, you can check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll probably be all very salty. <laughs> a lot of rage. Because <laughs> Mario Kart is that kind of game. Anyhow, I won't keep you any longer. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And God bless. Tune in for Monday's stream as well. It's going to be fun. Look forward to that. Take care, everybody.